That is not a large button. That is like in the corner. I'm yeah, I, I truly do not blame you. That should not be a necessary step in this, uh, in this process. Yeah, alright. It says I've been live for 10 seconds, but uh, it still doesn't look live to me. It's 5 p. Mike is a little loud. Mine is? Okay, there it goes. All right. Uh, yeah, hello. Welcome to the stream. Before we formally start, we're going to do a sound test uh, so it's not awful. I'm like, what the hell? It is so loud. Why is it doing that? <laughs> yeah, no, it was like fully peaking. Why was it doing that? I wonder if something's controlling my mic beyond my whatever. Uh, okay, anyway, hello. Haunted microphone. Haunted microphone. Uh, we're going to introduce ourselves... I'm not looking at your comments just yet, but I will. Um, so, hello, like about 700 people. Uh, my name is uh, Jello. I run this channel. So uh, we're gonna be doing a sound test. So this is the volume I'm at. The music should be playing for you. Um, I want it kinda low, cause if it's any higher, it's gonna be blasting over me. Uh, I did the art for this game. Uh, Lamp, introduce yourself. Hello there! I'm Warp Lamp, Master of Twisted. Um, then that, and that's who I am. That's who I am in the game. I'm in a video game, and that's pretty cool, and I don't think I can tell my parents. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Siv. Hi, uh, I'm Siv, also known as Spectral Fusion. I am also in this game a little bit, and I absolutely won't tell my parents. Um, yeah! We can't hear you. You can't hear me? Wait, what? Hang on. Can you hear anything? What is audible versus what is not? What's hot? What's not? What's not? That's a joke just for us. Yep. You know, I we they, you're you're on stream. They can't hear music though. There's none of that. Mm. Okay. I mean, it's pretty quiet, but I can turn it up. All right. Let's get a sound. Oh yeah, no, it is. It is nice. It's just Quiet. Yeah, it's it's purposefully pretty quiet because it gets very, very, very loud. I can hear everything. But it could Great. be louder. All right. Uh, in that case, I'm just gonna launch forward because we got a thousand people waiting. Uh, so, if if there are any problems, I guess scream at me. That chat's going too fast. It's not gonna it's not gonna scan. But we'll do our best. So, um. Unless you hive mind a problem. Yeah, unless it's like a real problem and you all start saying it. You gotta work together. Yeah. I'm mostly only gonna be looking at chat for the purposes of, uh, whenever we reach a decide time and you guys need to decide what time it is and what we're gonna do and, uh, which of these eligible bachelors we're going to date. Originally, Ruby was. This is YouTube plays Pizza Game. Kind of, yeah. Uh, so, for people who don't know, Pizza Game is a visual novel that my sister, Plaster Brain, has been working on on and off for four years. It is finally done. It is out. You can buy it right now on Steam. Uh, we've released a launch trailer. It's it's my most recent video. You can go and click that and click the links. You can get it on Itch or Game Jolt or Steam. Uh, I think only two of those have the achievements, though. So, maybe get it on Steam. Uh, this is a visual novel, which, if you are unfamiliar, uh, are basically not games. Uh, they're like books that you click through with pictures and characters, and sometimes a little bit of voice acting. Uh, and this is specifically an otome game, which means you are a girl going to romance boys. Uh, though, Pizza Game is sort of a parody comedy visual novel, and it's not, it's not like explicitly a parody of other visual novels, though it does do that a bit. It's kind of just a parody of video games. And it's sort of surreal and fun. And I've seen a lot of people who are like, oh boy, memes and shit posts. It's not that flavor. It's just, the best way I can think to describe it is, it's like, in the way the Eric Andre show is kind of like every wrong way you could run a talk show, Pizza Game at least dips its foot in every wrong way you could make a video game at least one time. So, uh, sometimes characters will open their mouths and the wrong character will speak. Everything is uh, in weird grammar, which is why it's good that people who are used to it are going to be reading it. It is a very difficult thing to get used to if you're reading out loud and you have not done it before. Uh, God bless anyone who's streamed it already and taken their shot at it. Um, It's a mess. It's, it's pretty it's, hard. Yeah. I am I'm the second most used to it person on Earth, though, so... Uh, 
yeah, you play this main character, Cayenne, you romance any of these five characters and one other one, uh, and once you've beaten their route, their, uh, their portrait fills in. So, uh, we're just gonna start, and I think I am actually gonna take Cayenne, because, for speed purposes, because I only have a couple hours here before I gotta go over to Sound Cadence. Yeah, like a professional. Mm-hmm. I couldn't read a pixel of that. Time to rejoin. <laughs> That's all right. Ugh, morning Tim already? Using the mouse clicky or the Z key, I can advance the next dialogue thingy that happens in my life. For examples, I just now rolled out of bed and punched the alarm clock in the face. That's'll teach ya. Uh, Lamp, if you want to take inner Cayenne. Yeah, sure. OMG, girlfriend, quit screwing around. Inner me. It's like 7 a.m. Why are you being so shouty? That's inner me. She's my thought bubble person who says all my thoughts. Except this one. <laughs> I'm shouty because you can't afford to be late on your first day. First day? I wonder what she could be talking about. If I click on the big words or press the L key, I bet I can find out more. I will try that now. Doesn't. If I click around the screen on places that aren't a button or a text link, it will advance the dialogue. It's a good thing I play so many visual novels so I know how this works and am not confused. I'm just pointing it out because hearing myself give tutorials makes me comfort and joy. Okay, enough mess around. This TM, I will click the words part instead of the not words part. <laughs> <laughs> Cayenne, please. Oh, right. The text. I will click on that now. <laughs> you have to this time. I didn't know about that. <laughs> oh, look. Neko is also playing pizza game. First day? First day of what? Of your new job, remember? What new job? You know, the one at the big Microsoft. Nope. The one you got hired for, like, a week ago? Not ringing a bell, sorry. It's been your dream to work it there since you were little? Oh yeah, that new job! I can't wait! That's righty! Just this week, I landed my dream job at the big Microsoft at one of the biggest tech companies in world. End parenthesis. <laughs> Hmm, that is kind of a weird thing to get forget. It is probably not important, though. I'm going to be the personal assistant to the CEO, Mr. Aramnes. It will be like 50 shads of gray, only more sex. This game is... Plaster says it is PG-13. She is wrong. <laughs> there's there's no sex, and like yet... This is like the least sexy game I've ever played in my life. It is so pointedly refuses to show you any payoff for any of the romance routes. And yet it's still very raunchy because Cayenne is extremely thirsty. She's awful. She's really bad. In some of the, in some of, you can see some of the other previews of different parts of this game uh, at like old cons we used to do that people filmed. And people are like, why are the characters so mean to Cayenne? Because she deserves it. <laughs> I am very optimistic about my prospects. I majored in boy in college, so I have all the right expertises to be the perfect 1950s secretary type. That even legal? <laughs> Good one, inner me. As you can see, inner me and regular me, who is me, getting all kinds of shenanigans. We're kind of best friends. No, we aren't. Hey, that reminds me, I still have to introduce myself. I'm Cayenne! It looks like Kiane, but it's actually pronounced like Cayenne the Pepper, or Cheyenne Wyoming, but without the H or the Wyoming. I am insert two credits to change Cayenne's age years old. Hmm, let's see, what else? My hobbies include eating pizza, thinking about cats, and reading boy band magazines. My best traits are my prettiness, my very prettiness, and my winning sense of humor. Winning what? A participation award? But dumb tish. Right now, my goal in life is to find a true love boyfriend. Or girlfriend. Or any friend, really. I'm lonely, help. <laughs> um, for reference, there's I mentioned there's six routes. Uh, there are four routes that are boys, and there are two routes where you can date girls. For anyone who is like genuinely curious in what this game actually offers. 
Mostly I am hoping I will end up dating my boss because he's rich and handsome, but we'll just have to see. The tutorial goes through and introduces all of the characters, except Rubit, I think. Uh, so you guys can decide after we meet each of the bachelors which one we will date. And eventually there are options and routes you can decide. Um, you can decide what we'll do and I'll, I'll turn to chat for those. All right, all right, quit rambling. You gotta get in the shower soon or else you'll be late for work. Oh crap, you're right, I always lose track of time. Hopefully Johnny doesn't need it. I guess Siv, if you wanna be Johnny. Hey, Kyle. Johnny is normally voiced by Anthony Sardina, who is Antfish. Uh, he does um, some Team Four Star stuff. He's Captain Ginyu, and I think he's Mr. Satan in that, if you guys watched uh, TFS Abridged. God damn it. Can I use the shower first, uh, today? <sighs> Hi, Johnny. Hi, can I use the shower? That's Johnny. <laughs> he doesn't need a tutorial arrow, I, arrow. I can see where he is. What is that? <laughs> Johnny is my roommate and he sucks. He's always doing dumb stuff like showering and saying hello to me. We share the rent, so I gotta put up with it. Though, to be honest, I don't actually know what he does for a living and mostly he is stupid. Cayenne is unrelentingly mean to Johnny for no reason at all. Fortunately, I can complain about him all I want in my helpful scrapbook. When I see a notification that says a character bio has been updated, it means a character bio has been updated. <laughs> Pressing X will close the, will open and close the in-game menu. Or no, it won't. Self-voicing disabled. Oh, that's good. I'm not sure why that was on. I'm not sure why those hotkeys aren't working, uh, so I'll just uh, I'll just look at the scrapbook menu. So, uh, here, my annoying roommate. His dad owns a huge ice cream company. Johnny's never gotten a cent from it, but he still considers eating only his dad's ice cream band a get rich crick scheme. Um, yeah, so there's file select options. It will prompt all of these things. Normally it works. Uh, Pizza Games going through a bunch of like bug patches right now just because we've only had like, you know, a handful of bug testers. It's it's a pretty long game. It's like 12 to 17 hours long, depending on how fast you're able to read through the dialogue and figure out what routes do what. So uh, we're still we're still working out a few kinks and we'll probably be doing that for the next two weeks. But you can still buy it on Steam. Pizza Game, the bugs are features. Bethesda gets away with it. You know you're talking out loud, right? You know you're talking out loud, right? Ugh, there he goes, messing more things up. If I were really such a bad roommate, could I do ah! this? Johnny balances a spoon between his pursed lips and his nose. It is very quirky. Johnny and I live in Floridaddle. My relatives like to point out that this is not actual a real place. They are wrong. Floridaddle is a new state made back when America decided to combine the two states, Florida and Seattle, to save money. <laughs> and you're not looking. It's not a very good place, but I have to live here to work at my dream job, and I'm not sure why Johnny's here. So, that was like meant to be a distraction issue, but if you're not looking, then I'm just gonna shower, okay? I'm the only one I know from my high school who gets to live in a double state, though. That's pretty cool. No time for rambles, Cayenne! It's 7.43! You're gonna be late! Oh no! Gotta drive to work in a jiffy! Looks like I'll just have to shower in the car. <sighs> That was close. I'm glad we got here in time. Wherever their characters is a new location place, the, lo the place will be announced. 3 p.m. Just in time. I think I'll try saving my progress by writing it down in my notebook, just in case. You can also right-click to save. That way I can do other things, like eat a salad. And when I come back, everything will still be here. What is that noise? The shortcut or the save load screen is S. S stands for Super Very Good Jog Progress Files Menu. Once on that menu, I can you can save. <laughs> you got the idea. <laughs> you say it like I'm not gonna corrupt your files. Do it, bitch! I will kill you. Wait, look out! The receptionist desk is coming. The what? An older blonde woman behind a portable desk appears. She is sneer over her glasses. She wear a blue blouse and also a necklace made out of go pieces. Hmm. I guess that's the receptionist. I will say hello. Hello. Welcome to the Microsoft offices. May I take your order? I don't think she's sitting at a real desk. She's wearing the desk around her like a peanut person. Damn, check out this piece of work. How old do you think she is? 190? What a haggity baggity. How? <laughs> <laughs> 
Bongo McBongo coming through. Yeehaw! Sometimes I think you exaggerate a little. Do you have an appointment or what? Just everyone screaming the word lamp for some reason. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Is that good enough? That's definitely going to be good enough. Hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Why not? You say your name is Cayenne? Yes, it is pronounced like the pepper. I don't see that name on the list. What list? A list of people allowed in here, of course. Yeah, no, I can see it from here. It says people I want to show up. Jim Morrison. Gross. Well, have you tried looking under pronounced like it a pepper? Trust me, it's not here. And if your name ain't on the list, then your story doesn't check out. Well, that's no problem. You could just write it in. As if. We have procedures around here, young lady. They are designed for security reasons. So, why, why are you guys screaming lamp? They like me. All right. Lamp is go all right. I'm just gonna assume nothing's wrong, and you're screaming lamp for no reason at all, and there's not like an audio problem. <laughs> all right. Well, that's about as pizza game as this gets, I guess. What? Why? Because if you're not on the list and pretending to be, it must mean you're a spy, like from Linux. Security! Exclamation points and <gasps> Security! Yikes! If I don't say something in my defense, she'll think I'm a spy and my entire career will be over! This would be a great time to make a choice decision to influence the outcome of events around me. I can click any one of the predetermined chooses in order to exert my free will upon others. Sometimes saying the right words at the right time will influence the way to say things happen to my benefit. So, uh, watch out guys, there's an upcoming choice decide and I'm gonna need your help to choice decide it. I'm going to tell her I'm not a spy, using words in the English language. But you don't speak English. I will pick the option that says, I am not a spy. <laughs> oh, this is tricky. I'm going to save scum. <laughs> All right, while well, they're deciding, I'm going to pour my tea. Yeah, I, th I think they're like about 30 seconds behind, so it might take a minute. I'm just going to take the first one I see. Choose lamp, not an option. <laughs> Bug facts. All right, spy. I saw spy first. <laughs> I come from eight generations of spy. That's okay. Not everybody is good at choices. Or video games. You just have to get a job that doesn't require a lot of them, like farmer or an ostrich. So I was bluffing when I called security just now. We actually don't have the budgets for that. But I will call the police if you don't get out right now immediately. Wait, you can't blame me. I have a tiny person inside me who is not good at choice decisions. Kick them out instead. Uh, why don't you just tell her something only a Microsoft employee would know? Oh yeah, ask me any question about twerking here, lady. I bet I could answer it as proof. Very well. What's your employee passcode? Well, I guess I'm unemployed now. <laughs> it's your personal number they give to all employees. You need it to get around the building and past me. Uh, can I answer a security question instead? My first pet's name was Fern. He was a mystery snail. My mother's maiden name. That's not how this works. I'm pretty sure your passcode was that five digit number on your acceptance letter. You have that with you, right? Uh, yes, in spirit. What happened to your letter, Cayenne? It's not my fault! I left it in the fridge to keep it safe, but then stupid Johnny ate it! Johnny! How many times do I have to tell you not to eat my future? Well, maybe don't leave important things in the fridge. I'm just teaching an important roommate lesson, Cayenne. <laughs> Johnny! <laughs> You're a dumbass. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't know what your problem is, young lady. You could have very well asked for an employee form if you wanted a job, but now you can't because I hate you. Go get your life together outside. This is so embarrassing. Good thing I can just delete. There's like a weird sound effect that got added in a recent update where there's like this laser sound. Oh, someone. Oh God, gross. Sib's milk curdled. 
I can just delete Gross. my file and wipe this fiasco off the record. You can delete files. Uh, do you want to be Aram, I guess? Yeah, sure. Hmm. You must be the newbie. Oh my, that sounds like the boss. I am the boss. It's Mr. Aramnase. He is a handsome man in a pale blue suit with a permanent scowl on his face parts. Mr. Aramnase, sir, do you know this hoop scallion? <laughs> I love the word hoops. <laughs> yes, she's the new recruit who is starting today. Really? Yes, really. Never question me again. Punched. <laughs> Mr. Aramnase whispers, punch to office lady. <laughs> Psychic damage. <laughs> My apologies, Miss uh, Cayenne. Pronounce like the prepper. Okay, let me just get your paperwork sorted here. But I've kind of been thinking of changing it lately. I figure if I can change my name, I can change anything. Like maybe start exercising. <sighs> Inner me getting real tired of your negativity. Okay, I've added you to the list. Apologies again for not recognizing you sooner. Of course, none of this would be a problem if people kept me informed of anything these days. Oh, well, I suppose I'll take the blame for everything once again. So you're the real Mr. Aramnes? Yes, I am. Or at least that's I'm what's left. <laughs> <laughs> or at least I'm what's left. <laughs> what a fucking intro line. <laughs> No way! It's such an honor finally getting meet you after all our correspondences! Yes, Will, that wasn't me. Nancy here handles the paperwork, <sighs> Which includes responding to fan letters. I like to think I capture your personality to a T, sir. We should let's take a photo giraffe to commemorate our first day working together! I bought a new disposable camera using my life savings so I could capture memories of all my new Floradidlian friends. Sometimes taking pictures of someone at the right moment will trigger a thingy to happen. Not yet, I'm not giving the... <laughs> I'm not done giving the tutorial yet, Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're supposed to press it here as part of the tutorial, but I like what happens if you don't. <laughs> hmm, get this arrow off me. Oh, sorry, Mr. Nays. Don't let it happen again. <laughs> I have half a mind to sue you for assault. The keyboard shortcut to blah 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 is F12. But if you don't want any garbage on my computer, and I just want to try getting a reaction with my in-game camera, I can press G instead. I think some of my buttons are mismapped right now. Oops. Does that make sense? I am bad at game design. Okay, I'm ready. Take a picture of all of us. <laughs> okay, I will press the photo button now. <laughs> or don't. That's okay too. I don't know, Inner Me. It just didn't seem worth it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have there? A rectangle? It's my disposable camera. Hmm. Disposable indeed. There will be no rectangles allowed in my office. Mr. Aramne throws your camera in the trash. <laughs> Wait, that cost all my allowance. Can I have that back? <laughs> wow, Mr. Aramnaze is so cool. Just ask him out right now, you baka one. <laughs> no way! I don't have a crush on Mr. Aramnaze. You're the baka! Quote Plaster. Originally, the game was way more anime baka ugu, but that gets extremely annoying after about five minutes, so this is pretty much the only instance of it. Wait, am I gonna get the camera option back though? Is that just gone forever? <laughs> just because today is your first day doesn't mean I'll be going easy on you. Pizza game does shit like that a lot, where if it'll be like, <laughs> uh, my friend Piff, um, twitch.tv slash Piff Zero, was um, playing through this game, and there's a bit where it's like, you should donate now, which links to the creator's Patreon, and you have to click it. You don't have to donate, but you do have to click the link, and if you don't, it goes, uh, this giant, no, you missed it. Here, I'll make it easy for you until you go roll back and click it, and a giant pink sparkly donate now appears over 80% of the screen, and if you don't roll back, it is there for the rest of your run until you start a new game. <laughs> 
I'm the president CEO man around here, so you'll do exactly as I say, little lady. Oh, I'm not little. My mom says that everyone's eyeballs are just born the wrong way, so I appear short to the untrained spectator. In order to successful integrate with this company, you'll need to learn the company rules. Blah blah stakeholders, blah blah corporate policy, blah blah corpses. Wow, Mr. Aramnes is saying a lot of words, which are boring. When he's done talking, I will say my words back at him. It's important I start building relationships in my new town. In order to do that, I have to raise their affinities. The more affinity I raise, the better my relationship with a dateable person will turn out. How do I raise affinities? If there's one thing I've learned in life, it's that you should always pick whichever option the other person will like the most. You know, like a psychopath. These people's lives mean nothing to me. Oops, that's not what I meant to say. What I meant to say is... <laughs> I love that joke. So um, I will say outright, because it's got like kind of a pink, pink cutesy art style and blah, blah, blah. And it is a visual novel and this happens a lot. Pizza Game is not like a Doki Doki Literature Club style secret horror game. But it definitely has shades of, like, this character is just, like, a scary character. Uh, mm. So it's not a formal horror game, but it does have elements of one. It's not, like, a secret horror game. It's not Madoka Magica type, oh, it's not the genre you thought. So I'm just putting that out there as Whoa, a disclaimer. no Madoka spoilers in 2019, bud. Oh, no. Does any... <laughs> really? <laughs> like... <laughs> What I meant to say was to get someone to, uh, to like you, you should say sexy words at them. All right, it's me. Uh, which is why no one is allowed in the basement anymore. Did you get all that? I should try it now. Sexy, here I come. <laughs> did you know that sometimes Katie dids? And that's another thing. Your attire is unacceptable. Dude, you can't just interrupt someone's butt hmm. facts. You look ridiculous. You cannot come dressed to work today like that in my company. Can we, someone asked, can we have a voice acting DLC? A lot of people in the comments are like, oh, I'd get this if it had the full voice acting in the trailer. Um, we legitimately don't have the money or time for that. Uh, this game is extremely long. It's like 12 hours at least to read through. So acting through with this type of dialogue, like, Lamp, you recorded some of it. We recorded like five lines and it took like 25 minutes because it's ridiculous. <laughs> so uh, also some of these characters like Johnny and Rubit are not voiced by our friend circle who we can work for free. So that would cost a couple thousand dollars. It also makes the game package enormous because it has a bunch of sound files in it. Uh, so it's not going to happen, I'm going to guess. It's not on the yeah, developer it... roadmap right now. Uh, yeah, it would be very impractical, although it would be really fun. Yeah, no, it would be fun to do. Uh, while I'm working on Epithet Erased, I don't have the time to direct that either. Dress like what? Wait a minute. Oh crap, I forgot to put on regular clothies after my pajamas were on! Wait, hold on, Cayenne was supposed to say that. Who did say it? Oh, inner Cayenne! <laughs> I can't believe it! I ambassadored myself in front of my celebrity idol, and I've only known him for like five seconds! This is like a dream come true, only it is nightmare! Eh, consider yourself lucky. My stress dreams are filled with toilets. I'm so embarrassed! Hmm. hmm. Yes, this is a tragedy for just about... just j just about everyone, sorry. Especially me. And Nancy, who thinks she still needs to be here for some reason. Punch. Punch. <laughs> I just can't believe they cut the annual bonus I used to get for putting up with the garbage proletariat. No, wait, I'm the boss. I'm putting the bonus back in. We'll just have to cut cut out both your salaries. Uh, this is the worst day of my life. I am leaving. <laughs> Cry. Akira gone. Better. Sorry, inner me. But I couldn't stay there any moment longer. I couldn't let Mr. Aramne see me cry like this. I really wanted to impress everyone at my first day of work. And now I missed it all up. Well, it's his fault anyways. If you had gotten the chance to finish saying the, your 
bug fact, he would have been too seduced to even notice your shitty clothes. What was your bug fact, anyway? Oh, well, I was going to say that one in every 500 Katie dids is pink instead of green. What the fuck is a Katie did? Well, it's green, for starters. You know what? Never mind. Anyway, there's no reason to be sad, because guess what? I got you a present. Rally? What is it? It's your camera! But didn't it melt it when Mr. An Aram Nasi on fired the grash? The trash? Yep, you should be thanking me, because I risk my life to get you good gift. Does it even work, though? <laughs> Shrug! It's probably broken. Don't worry about it. We'll just stick it on there and hope for the best. <laughs> that is melted for the rest of the game. See? It is new. It does work, though. I feel even worse, sister, now. Howdy, stranger. I guess. Well, how yeah. you strange strangler? Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the wait. Second dateable route. Take notes, guys. You get to choose which of these eligible bachelors you want us to date. Welcome to you. Yeah, thanks. Why the long face? Oh, it's nothing. It's just that I totally messed up at work in front of my boss today. Gosh, that sounds awful. You know what always helps cheer me up is exchanging currency for goods and services. What can I get you? <laughs> wow, nice segue, idiot. Also, we're not going to get to these jokes. So I'm just going to point it out. Inner Kyan is not Kyan's thought bubble. She's like vaguely some sort of parasitic demon ghost that hangs around her. They're not, that's not her conscience. <laughs> um, I think I will have a soda, thanks. Sounds great. Of course, just an FYI, that's fun for your information. I made it my policy to remind customers of how business consumer interactions work as a capitalist economy. <clears throat> the customer pays monies in the agreed upon amount upon successful receives of the agreed upon beverage. Don't forget to do that at the end of our interaction. <laughs> That out of the way, I can go prep rep your soda. Be right back. Okay, thanks. The fact that he's so insistent on that really implies a dark world for Chris. Oh yeah, no, Chris <laughs> Chris pretty much never gets paid for anything, for what I understand. I don't think anyone <laughs> does. Ugh, Earth to Cayenne, you don't have any money. That is true. Well, you can't just not pay monies. That's illegal. And if you're in jail, how will you tell Mr. Aramnes your cool bug facts? That's a good point, Intermi. Sometimes I will need to use real world cash to solve the problems I encounter. Luckily, I can just insert my credit cards into the computer to microtransaction my regular dollars into pizza dollars. That was a joke, I am poverty. Help. What should I do? I don't want to go to jail. Don't worry, girlfriend. I already have a plan thought up. Really? What is it? Okay. Here it is. Stall for time until I come up with a plan. That's not a plan! What am I supposed to do? I don't know! I'm just- just use your feminine charming! What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> he a boy. Just remind him of your natural resources and he will be total distraction. Here he comes. Go for it. Hey, wanna hear a fun fact? Uh, I have boobs! <laughs> if you see an expiration date on a bottle of water, it is for the bottle, not the water. Fun fact! Okay, I will go make your drink for you now. Don't have too much fun while I'm going. No way! What a dumb fact. It wasn't even about bugs. Did you see that? He just ignored me. I can't believe it. No boy ever been able to resist the boob trick before. That's okay. In the time it took for him to say his dumb fact, I managed to come up with a much better plan. Okay, what is it? The plan is... Don't pay for your drink. Uh, yeah, thanks. I already got that far. What's the plan for if we become under arrest? I'm still working on the cakes, okay? Oh no, he's back. What's he doing? I can't see how this thing... <laughs> he's... He's just staring at me. He's trying to intimidate you. Ma'am. 
Don't let him stand you down. We didn't have three weaves of feminism and suffragettes just for this guy to win at a staring contest. Gulp! The jigsaw is up for us, Inner Me. Maybe, maybe we should just turn ourselves in. No way. Just keep your cool, girlfriend. Ma'am. Don't worry. Keeping it cool is just one of my many talent. I am very cool. Here goes nothing. I'm very sorry, ma'am, but it appears we're out of soda. Would you like to try your special happy Sino instead? That is four oh five dollar. Okay. <laughs> Kyan, maybe you should be the thought bubble and I should be the front person. That was close! I'm on thin ice here! Hey, you've got him on the defensive. Why don't try buttering him up with a friend to pal nickname? That way he will think we are friends and accidentally give us money instead of take it away from us. What kind of nickname? Something natural and friendly sounding, but also cute to show you our pretty girl. Let's see. Okay, this is it. From now on, I can feel my choices are going to make a big difference. This is when, uh, I'm gonna save a couple backups here. This is when you actually can start choosing which route you are going on. What sort of nickname should I use? Chat. Can I guess I know what you're gonna pick? <laughs> Buckaroo, you don't get to pick. Cayenne is awful person. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna take this chance to drink some water. That's a good idea. Let's see. Stay hydrated out there. Oh, wait, is the water bottle fact true? Yes, yep, Horatio is right. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Quick! Here he comes! Chris slowly slides into view. <laughs> wow! See, I can't, go ahead. See, knowing knowing that it's coming doesn't make it less funny, you know. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe I just watched you Mavo across the screen for 15 seconds. Was that really 15 seconds? Uh, I'm not sure. Go back and do it again. Let me count. Wait, no, that's not what I meant. Okay, hold on. Okay, go. One. No. Two. Three. <laughs> and they said these would be my golden years. Five. You're moving too fast. Do it again. Okay, one. You know what? Never mind. It's not that big a deal. <laughs> Pacino, ma'am. A very good choice in my humble opinion. I am biased. This is our most popular drink option. Even more popular than the Starbucks coffee. It is so in, said the local newspaper. I am proud. Okay, time to use my nickname. You know, the secret ingredient to every drink is friendship. Also fried chicken. Oops, well, I guess now that I told you about what the secret ingredient is, it's not a secret anymore. We're bankrupt now. That is funny joke. Uh, Horatio. Oh no, I blew it! <laughs> My name is Chris. It is not Horatio. But that is okay, because I love Charles Dickens' books. Great! Me too. Horatio is my favorite character in Atlas Shrewd. What is your favorite book, Strangler? That's easy. My autobiography. You have an autobiography? No, I haven't written it yet. But when I do, it will be great! In fact, I should probably get some, I should probably go do some exciting things to put in it right now. Yes, like drink coffee. Or leave your restaurant. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Pack whatever weird luggage you have up there, inner me, because we are need to go on the run to Canada. Calm down, you dumb. But... Come on, we used all our feminine charms on that guy. He is probably none the wiser. I mean, look at him. He's probably the type who iron his clothing before a big date or something. I mean, come on, serious. <laughs> Two seconds. Two seconds. This is very important. 
Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Stop typing things in the chat. I'm trying to ban someone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you sure you don't think he noticed? Even if he did, what's he gonna do? Call the cops? <laughs> you are probably right. So, I guess since I left at work, I get the whole day off now? Yeah. That's how that works. <laughs> yeah, you would say verbs and nouns in a sentence, dork. <laughs> Boo! Did I scare you? <laughs> yeah, I scare even me sometimes. Don't worry, not everyone can handle the dark, twisted coolness that is Warped Lamp. What kind of a name is Marped Lamp? Warped Lamp. Yeah, I know, but I typoed and didn't bother to fix it. And Warped Lamp is an incredibly cool name. Not really, it don't even make any sense. Well, have you considered the following? You suck? Hmm, that's a good point. Whose side are you on? So yeah, I think we can all agree Warp and Lamp ranks within the top five percentile of cool names. All right, chat, cool your jets. <laughs> <laughs> it also happened to be my name. I appreciate the ego boost, chat. <laughs> she doesn't need it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> the Lamp part is my surname, but the Warped part is my title. <laughs> That's why they call me the Master of Twisted. Wait, hold on. What did you just say? I'm just gonna. I'm gonna real quick edit my sound settings and roll that back so the chat can hear it. Wow. Master of Twisted. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My hobby is boy. Wait, hold on. What did you just say? Master of Twisted. Yeah, but why does it sound like your voice is coming out of a drive-through action figure? <laughs> Excuse you, I never go out in public without a trusty guitar amp on my vocal cords. It's to emphasize how cool I am. Wow, that was the ugliest sound I've ever heard. Maybe I'll go to the options menu and adjust volume settings to shut this person up. I can press the D key to quickly view the volume menu. Oh, cool. All right. Developer menu. That's not good. <laughs> All right. I don't know what happened, but I think in her last update, it changed all the hotkeys. I can also mute all the sounds fastly by pressing the M key. <laughs> Sometimes I kill ants using a megaphone. Holy shit! Wow, you're still talking, huh? <laughs> Wait, no, a magnifying glass. <laughs> Honestly, a random hotkey that allows you to access the dev tools is pretty much the most beats <laughs> game. Yeah, I you know that is. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Anyway, you can call me Lamp Regular. Because, I mean, if you have to talk about the twisted part too much, that is the part that come at the end of my name, you will probably go insane. It's a well-known Florida fact and tourism attraction. Oh, said to me thousands of people would come to see my twisted mind, but after too many accidents, they had to shut it down. I like that you read the word used as oosed. <laughs> I need to emphasize exactly how how JPEG the screen share real, gets. Yeah. We oh. gotta guess sometimes. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> anyway, did you want to go on a date with me, dork? Excuse me? Well, oh, hold the horse phone, girlfriend. This is our chance to turn your crappy day around. Sorry, I don't hate. I don't date household objects on principle. Yeah, but live a little. What should I say? Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, chat wants to go the lamp route since that's the only fucking thing they're saying. So uh, <laughs> I, I I think to get the lamp route, you need to do the coolest, meanest things the entire first day. So let's throw lamp in the trash. People can be annoying sometimes. My mom taught me that sometimes the best way to solve conflict is by throwing the annoying person in the trash bin. I just need to click and drag them into garbage can. But, Kayan, clicking while dragging kills over 100 people every year. Don't worry, Intermi. If it get too dangerous, I can just press the L key as shortcut or disable QTEs from options screen. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> 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 well, that solved that problem. <sighs> Another missed opportunity. 
Well, we didn't want to date Lamp anyway. Speak for yourself, girl. Existing all is one of my required traits for dating. It's just been one thing after another today. <sighs> I need William Sam as advisee. I don't know. William kind of creeps me out. Now I can screen cap Siv saying that and use it as <laughs> blackmail. Let's go to William no! Samum's house. This is an alley. That's because William Sam is homeless. William Ma'am is the boy next door. He's not really the boy next door, but he do live next to our apartment complex in a box. So that counts. Sorta. William Sama and I are great friends. I always come to him for advices. William Sama! Say this part shouty. Are you home? Maybe he died. That's okay. We'll come back, Alter. I already feel a little better just thinking about the chance to feel better. <laughs> Johnny, I'm home. Hey, Kyle, how's work? Oh, Johnny. I forgot you lived here. I hope you don't mind. I threw out all your regular spoons and put the plastic ones in the dishwasher because the plastic doesn't rust. And guess what I learned to do in the shower? <laughs> yeah, it's real nice, Johnny. Hey, you seem kind of down. What's wrong, Cayenne? Was work not all you dreamed it would be? <sighs> Maybe you finally learned that capitalism is what the man wants you to be. You should never have gotten that job, Cayenne. Like I said, gotta take a page out of Johnny's book. Johnny doesn't believe in capitalism. I think he just decided he's anti-capitalist because his extreme narcolepsism prevents him from having a regular job. Johnny, wake up. What? Oh, sorry. He's always looking for an alternative means of making muns, which is fine, but like the rent and stuff. Johnny, you just stay home all day doing whatever it is you do and getting stoned on ice cream. You say that like I don't do important stuff, when in fact I'm working very hard to learn to balance a spoon on my nose. Someday I'll be famous magician. It's my big character trait, I've just decided. He literally just decided that. <laughs> Ice cream isn't even a derg. How do you get high off of it? Asking for a friend. You're probably just misinterpreting the name Baked Alaska. <laughs> it's good ice cream, my dude. <laughs> you don't even make sense, Johnny. Fine, keep your secrets if you want. I don't care. Anyway, work was a fine. <laughs> work was. <laughs> yeah, that's how I'm gonna read that line. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just happened to mess up Major League Baseball. What? Why? <laughs> what the fuck did you do? I went into work and then Mr. Aramnaze pointed out I was still in my pajamas. And you know what, Johnny? It's all your fault. You're the one woo who wanted to bathe this morning and that maced me up and didn't have any clothes on for work. <laughs> <laughs> Admittedly, our career plan shouldn't have been pred predicated on taking a shower this morning. I'm lucky I even got to meet Mr. Aramnaze. The lacty at the front desk was so rude, she wouldn't even let me buy without my employee passcode. Remember, Johnny? You, sh uh, you should know what it was, seeing as it was in your digestion system because you ate it! <laughs> Are you still hung up on that? Let go, Kay, it was hours ago. You're so stupid, Johnny, I hate you! And I wish this apartment had never been born! I don't have to stand here and listen to this! I'm going to bed! <laughs> Fine! Kyan, I'm sleeping. Shh, Kyan, I'm sleeping. Oh, sorry. Johnny goes back to sleep. Come on, Ernie, let's get out of here. I, I literally can't fucking read that. <laughs> but where should we go? We already went to all three places I could think of. Hey, I saw a newspaper at Will's place that said there was a new driving class school at the community center. It is at now o'clock. I don't think you need driver's ed if you own a car. Come on, inner me. Haven't you always wanted to get to go get my bachelor degree? No, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. Just gonna just gonna change something real quick for this gag. Oh yeah. So for record, they can't hear the sound effects, but I'm having a great time. <laughs>
<laughs> I am in school now! <laughs> Seems like pretty nice class place, isn't it? Speak, Speak for you. yourself. Uh, okay. No, yeah, the, you, it, it's, it, it would be you now. Yeah. Speak for yourself. This place looks like a trash's armpit. I'm not sure why you're so angry. <laughs> oh, crap. Here comes Teach. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me laugh every single time. <laughs> Welcome to my class, guys. My name is Sensei. I know this is our second day of class and all, but it never hurts to give the old memory jogger a good memory jog. Now then, today I will start off with take your time doing the bell ring. ER. Don't be afraid if you don't know the answer. In my class, there's no such thing as answer. Only beginnings. Remember, learn is for everyone, not just someone. Wink! Four winks. <laughs> wow, that was really inspiring. I cry inspired tear. <laughs> wow, is right. The rest of what? The rest of that isn't. I could barely read that. Is what is even this bell ringer, though? Don't worry, me. I'm the brains on this team. Let me take a look. Two cars went crash and one went bam. This is psychological experiment. Which was the faster? What? That impossible question. This is an inside job. I'm calling it NSA Osama Bin Laden. I wonder how to answer it. <laughs> well, you better figure that out soon because otherwise I can't cheat off your paper. Lamp? What are you doing here? <laughs> More like, what are you doing here? <laughs> Yeah, maybe think about that enigma for a little bit. As for me, come on, I mean, who hasn't gotten under arrest for driving badly? <laughs> not, not this guy. By which I mean this guy. I used up my last license, so I'm getting another one. Go back to your desk, Lamp. I'm not gating you the answer. Oh, yeah? We'll prepare to have your face used this weekend as a theastrisic basis for a twistedly un unpalatable two-layer cake. This is like one of the most obtuse jokes in the entire game, in my opinion. <laughs> Which I am baking. Not that it's unpalatable on accident. Like, it's not that I'm a bad chef, so don't even think of that or whatever. <laughs> I'm making a bad one on ironic purpose so I can laugh at how much of a loser cake it is and then throw it out. If that cake were a person, it would be in therapy for years. Lamp. <laughs> Try not to think about that too long or your mind might go insane from the twisted. What is even wrong with you? Yeah, I had a bunch of extra tapiocas laying around. Feels like a waste to just throw them at, you know? Would you just go away? <laughs> yeah, whatever. I was gonna go myself away even without your input, so nice try. <laughs> but it looks like I win this round. <laughs> Ugh, that just cost us a whole bunches of time on the bell ringer. Stupid lamp. We gotta figure it out or else I might fail this class on the first day. So oh, sorry, I was getting my cat out of the way. Yeah, how's that old bee in the brains of the team going? Great, because I have an answer that is going to rock sock! How do I answer the question? I believe set the paper on fire is the most lamp answer. Nah, that gets you. That gets you on air, I'm right. Okay. I Great. know, because that's what I did. I... I think... Past day one, I think Pizza Game's pretty intuitive for doing the things that make characters like you. I honestly think it's pretty hard to track onto the right route uh, off of day one. It's way too easy to get onto the, the Aram route. Um, and I guess he is the main route, but still. So how Pizza Game works, there's five days, and the first day is always the same. And depending how you answer on the first day, gets you into three different routes for the second day, which is... Uh, Aram and Chris, Lamp and Sensei, and Rubid and Keen. And then from there, it branches even further into their individual routes. But it's a little tricky to figure out what hap like what puts you on what track on the first day, because it's not direct. All right, I'll try creative. For I'm, I'm gonna do set the paper on fire, because it's my favorite one, honestly. Oh, I was hey, Savvy. Hi, oh, Savvy. Hey, it's me. The bell ringers are about car crash, righty? What if we set the assignment burst into flames so it looked like car crash? That's dumb. I'm just gonna keep sound effects turned up. <laughs> wow, I didn't even set it on fire. Me either. Oh 
go ahead and uh, take credit for it, though. Wow! You must be have been writing so fast your paper set on fire. Do not worry, student. I will get you a new one. Here you go. <laughs> wow! You must have been writing so fast your paper set on fire. Do not worry, student. I will get you a new one. Here you go. Wow! You must have been... <laughs> <laughs> what a day! I hope no other event happened today because that would be tiresome. Hey, Kayan, can we order a pizza? Angry face. Okay. I pucked up the phone. Don't like that. I pucked up the phone and ordered a pizza. <laughs> Hello, can I have a pizza? Thanks. Ugh, what's taking this pizza so long? I'm gonna wait so long I turn into a dinosaur. Why don't you pass the time with the whole and some family activity, such as board games? Hmm, that is a good idea, Intermy. Jonathan! I guess Savvy, if you want to pick him up. I ordered a pizza. Do you want to play a board game? Sorry, my screen, my screen share is I can't, just not cooperating. I can't do better than this. I will hold try on, restarting on. it really quick. Cause it, it's Let's like see if it still goes to black. Pixels. Yep. Yeah. All right. Stop sharing your screen. Give me two seconds. I'm gonna. All right, I'll that try. Was a tease because it was there for. Yeah, a no, I don't know seconds. why it's doing that for me. It's just for me. All right, is this any better? Uh, it'll have to do. Okay. <laughs> Walk up. Oh, so Johnny is the roommate, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll ignore that non sequitur and yes at your pizza. <laughs> And I will ignore that you suck because I'm lonely, but I'm still gonna kick your ass at board game. Thanks for playing Pizza Game. Did you know that one of your Kickstarter back stretches is to make an official Pizza Game pe board gamer? The Pizza Game official board game TM includes all your favorites formed to original Pizza Game. <laughs> As well as favorites from the concept of board games. Pieces, instruction, a board, even a game are all included. P.A. Kian, how about a round of pizza game board gamer while we're waiting for pizza to arrive? I like that that's supposed to be a lazy, like, restricted symbol in a little circle, but you're reading it as gamer. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what an idea, Johnny! I will consider that while we play other board games. <laughs> 11 minutes later. <laughs> 11 minutes later. Just then the doorbell wronged and the pizza was arrived. Yeah, just a second. Stop ringing the doorbell. I'm coming, lady. Who wants to be keen? Uh, I guess also, I'm, I'm gonna say let's do also savvy because uh, be, Johnny's not a character. <laughs> Hello. Here's pizza. Whoa, that was a lot of words. I'm not a chance. I'm not sure if I got a chance to read them before advancing the dialogue. It's a good thing I can use the mouse wheel at the backspace to go back and relive the moment. It's basically time travel. Thanks. Too bad I don't have any money. Bummer, man. I don't know how to do a keen. Bummer, man. <laughs> Bummer, man. I was hoping not to have to subsist off peanut butter as a pizza leftovers for another week. Don't worry, though. Here is a tip. Oh, jeez. Oh, these all suck. I'll give Chad a... I'm giving Chad a few minutes to... I think there's like an 80% chance I'm going to go have to go back and speed through the first day again to get the lamper out. So we might as well just pick whatever they want. Uh, I'm looking at what they, they're picking. Mostly just weird lamp memes. Not sure why. Tip Fedora, first one I saw. Tally ho! Tip's hat at you. But you're not wearing a hat. That's the joke! <laughs> yeah, you're a real riot lady. Thank you, I hope you tip your waitresses. But I guess if you tip them the same way, it would just be an endless chain of tipping hats. Would the waitress also tip the waitress waitress? Who is the waitress waitress? Wow. That got really deep. I just sort of fizzled out there. If anything, you should be paying me for all the wisdoms I just espouse at you. <laughs> Am I right? Anyway, my name is Keen Arnold. I'm Cayenne. Yeah, I remember you. You guys order from us all the time. 
You should come and dine in some dine in sometime. We do tours, not free. Are you asking me out on a date? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, blush. Okay, whew. thought you were asking me out on a date. Well, I wasn't. Okay, thanks. You can get out of my house now. After Keen left, me and Jonathan ate the pizza. Ugh, I can't believe it at what a blockhead I was. This pizza has a bunch of cheeses on it. I forgot to ask them to scrape it off. Ugh, vegetarian problems. <laughs> Serves you right. It's karma for that time you didn't hand me the remote. Quirky roommate shenanigan. <laughs> Ugh, why do you have to be such an annoyance, Johnny? The roommate and not young Bosch. Why can't you be Johnny Young Bosch, you dumbhead? That Asian American stallion. Oh shit, it's the cops. <laughs> there are no cops in Floridaddle. It's probably your mom, Cayenne. Oh yeah, now that I live on my own, Piff is also playing pizza game. My mom calls me pretty much every night to see what you've been up to. I will tell her about my day. Cool, I'm gonna stare into the abyss. Hello. Oh, that's that's mommy. Uh, Siver lamp. Hello, Cayenne. Hi, mommy. I have great news. <laughs> Usually the one who call the phone call set the topic of conversation. Me and Johnny, not young Bosch, ordered a pizza. Did you remember to scrape off the cheese? You are a vegetarian. No, I forgot it. <laughs> Cayenne, pronounced like the pepper, you have to look out for yourself now that we aren't around. I love that vaguely her last name is pronounced like the pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Mom. I can handle myself just fine. I was just so worked up from I made from made that one mistake. Even Johnny Young Bach make mistakes sometime. Don't you don't sully his name to protect your own, sweetie. <laughs> I will destroy you. <laughs> Mom, he's not even real. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I called to ask if you did get my package? No, Mom. I told you already. We can't afford mail here at the apartments. Oh, well, it was a marshmallow. <laughs> with it... <laughs> with it has how hot been... <laughs> Jesus Christ. With it has how hot been outside, I hope it didn't explode on a postman. <laughs> we can't afford any more felony, Mom. Calm down, Cayenne. I am just a joke. So what else happened at the rest of your day? Well, I went to work for Mr. Aaron. This changes depending on what you did. It's basically a summary of what you did. I don't actually know why this is in the game, but I do find these really funny and they get weirder as the game goes on. I went to work for Mr. Aramnes at the big Microsoft, it, but I messed up and was so embarrassing. How do you roll a B? Embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> nope, shit. I'm gonna try that one more time. Embarrassing. There we go. The lady at the front of desk thought I was spy. Well, were you a spy? Mom, I take our eight generation of spy heritage very seriously. That's good, sweetie. Sweaty. I'm proud. Unfortunately, the proud is canceled because that was a spy <laughs> test and you failed. Not again! <laughs> It gets worse, though. You would know what that disposable camera I bought? <laughs> no. Well, bad news. My <laughs> boss melted it. Like with laser visions? No, with garbage can. Oh, I'm very disappointed in you, Kayan. I like the implication that if it had been with laser vision, she would have been okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> you should have asked him to melt it with laser. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay because Inner Kayan fished it out of the garbage. It's a little squishy, but it still works. Then I run away from work and go to cafe. I got drink and didn't pay for it. Yay. Hmm, I don't know, honey. I thought you said we shouldn't have more felonies in this family. Well, this was an exception. You just don't get how hard it is being a me, Mom. Cayenne pronounced like the pepper. Because, because then this kind of buff, ma <laughs> this kind of buff named Lamp stopped me while I was walking and hurt my feelings. Why are people mean, Mom? I don't know, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> that is. <laughs> That is a time for another question. What happened next? Well, Johnny was being an annoying, so to get out of the house, I went to new nightclub in town. And by nightclub, I mean driver's ed. 
I'm going to get my bachelor degree and maybe a bachelor while I'm at it, wink wonk. <laughs> oh, what are you studying? Car. <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> maybe you can take your old folks for a spin. Mom, I don't have a car. I'm just learning what a car is. Like philosophically? Yeah. What an interesting lifestyle you have made, Cayenne. I'm jealous. JK, I have a much better paying job. <laughs> Can you stop bringing that up, Mom? <laughs> Don't shy away from the truth, honey. Still you. Well, it may... Yeah, no, it just did nothing. Sorry. Well, make sure to write every now and then. I'll call every day to make sure you're not die yet. Thanks, Mom. You're always looking over my shoulder. <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> uh, remind me why you say Drake and Josh to your mom after every phone call? Because we're always looking out for each other. Just like Drake and Josh. I'd sing the one lyric from the theme song, but honestly, it's kind of a mouthful and I don't remember it. Well, I got a log and day tomorrow. Actually, all day's the same. Time, the 24 hours. This has been Pizza Facts Time with Pizza Game. Thanks for playing. Yawn. Boy, it's time to hit the hay. Good night, Intermi. Remember to save your game on case a goblin steals it. <laughs> uh, game uh, style. Time to get up, girlfriend. Read the lines. Whoa. <laughs> no need to get I believe this is the air route. Yeah. All right. So we are going to load and just for you terrible people, we're going to do the lamp route. Why does why does that make them terrible? Cuz non-stop terrible chat. Bad. All right. Uh let's do Let's do The chat is now a combination of lamp and J Drake and Josh. <laughs> That's better. All right, uh, you can skip things by using these buttons. So let's skip a whole bunch. Yes. Uh, we haven't Whoa, seen- mechanics. Yeah, we haven't seen this dialogue yet, so it won't let us skip it. Uh, Ace? I, I am just gonna, I have limited time today, so I am just gonna plow through this so we can get to more lamp. Uh, hmm. Let's try accept and smooch, because you think that would be the one Lamp wants. Well, since you presented such a good case for yourself, and I have nothing better, Todd O. Okay, let us smooch. Trick. <laughs> nice try wanting to date me and all, but it turns out it was just a prank. <laughs> um, why are you rejecting me if you were the one who asked? Uh, it's not like it's legally binding or whatever. <laughs> what if it is? <laughs> hmm. Okay, if you're going to keep whining about it, I guess we might as well go on a date. Just to settle this out of court. <laughs> and not for other not ironic purposes. <sighs> no thanks, I'm not really feeling it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in jam I think it's what? No, wait, no! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay then, now seems like a good time to learn about throwing people in the trash. Guys, I guess there's just no lamp rat. Sorry, Sorry. we lied to you. <laughs> I, just, I fucking love that joke of clicking and dragging lamp into It's the very trash. funny. <laughs> Still going. Wow! Wow! Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I was just checking if this one is, uh, quit gay kissing me, sensei. <laughs> it also stops at any diversion point, so, uh, I've... What what is the, which of these is the coolest? Let's do tell some advice. Try that. Let's see. Do we do it? I think it starts at night. If you're on the yeah, all right. 
It says sensei right <laughs> No, no, they're the same route. We su we succeeded. Oh. Got him. Lamp is dead. Uh, what? Why do I feel so groggy? Where's inner me with my coffee? Hmm, wait. I don't drink coffee. That's probably why she's not here. Hello? Inner me? Maybe she had errands to run. <laughs> <laughs> and Johnny is gone too. Did my alarm even go off? Also, why is it so dark outside? Surely all these observations are unrelated. Wait a minute. What time is it? I scrumble to look at the clock. Please don't be late for work. Please don't be late for work. I can't afford to make Mr. Aramis mad again. One million o'clock PM. Oh wait, this is just a note left by Johnny as a prank. <laughs> gotcha, Cayenne. Johnny. Stupid Johnny, so annoying I hate him. But underneath the note it says, 6.55 p.m. Oh no, my observations were related because in fact, I have slept in until not 6.55 p.m. I can't believe this. I was supposed to go to work this morning and do a good job to make up for my terrible first impression yesterday. There's no way Mr. Aramne will let me keep my job now. I'll have to look in the paper if they see if, and see if they have any vacancies for unemployment. Hey, I'm back. Do you like wontons? Because they came as part of the $6 dinner deal at Walk Garden. Dinner me! What happened? Why is there sad music? It is because I slept in and missed work. Now my career, I'm a failure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what should I do now? Well, there's still that driver's ed class you have starting in five minutes ago. Oh crap, you're right! I can't miss two responsibilities in one day! Now that I screwed up at my job, getting a car bachelor degree is the only way I'm going to success at my future. I've got to get over there right No. <sighs> Looks like we got here before anything started happening. Wouldn't want to miss it if they reviewed the vocab terms for the big test coming up. What were the vocab terms again? The only one I, one I know right now is car, but there are probably more. I will have to see. Wait, what is Sensei doing? What are you, Mena? Wink, 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 wink. I look over at Sensei. He looks normal, except for the fact that his eyebrows are doing a winky. But for some reason, everyone is panicking. Somebody! Somebody help! He's help. looking out of control! At this rate, the school will explode! Explode, I say! I'm going for the Guinea Book of World Record, guys! What are all you losers whining about? I'm trying to doze off in the middle of class. Lamp, what has happened obviously. to Sensei? Well, I obviously don't know because I'm a delinquent, stupid. You could guess and not be a jerk? Guess? You mean like... The fashion brand? Because I don't know what that is, because I'm Warp Lamp, Master of Twisted. <laughs> anyway, my point is quit shouting. But... I'm trying to concentrate on nibbing these spitballs. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm done, I'll have a loser mantle to bestow on the class nerd. It's a huge honor if you have no self-esteem. Knit one pearl, <laughs> knit one pearl. <laughs> Lamp six down out of sight. Lamp, wait! What? Shouldn't we try to stop him? At this rate, there won't be enough time for him to take the test. What test? Why do we need a test? We already know I'm the best student in the class. If there was a national standard test for cool, I would modestly score within the top two quintiles. Yeah, I kind of got a 34 on the SAT. Whoa, that's higher than your score. We gotta have a test because otherwise it's not fair to those students who studied. I'm pretty sure nobody studied, Cayenne. We haven't learned anything in this class. And probably never will. Well, either way, it's about being on set, Lamp. Yawn. What about your dream? How are you going to accomplish anything in life if you're just coasting through school life? What dream? You wanted to get your license back, oh, remember? Wrong. Yeah, but like, only ironically. Goal setting is for losers, Cayenne. Unless you a sport player, that's pretty cool. But otherwise- No way! Winners goal set all the time! Oh uh, yeah? And what exactly is your idea of a winner? Albert Einstein. 
Guy had zero girlfriends. Try again. <laughs> Maya Angelou? <laughs> zero girlfriends. Louis Bunuel? You don't even know who that is, Kaya. <laughs> well, that's right! <laughs> <laughs> QED, dreams are for losers, and losers is the di dictionary opposite word of warped lamp, so I'm not going to be one. But you can't just be taking driver's editors class ironically. You vastly underestimate my ironic potential. No way! Yes way. If this building exploded right now, I wouldn't even send a condolence card to its family. <laughs> worst case to worst, I can ride my skateboard everywhere. Well, what about when there's no skateboards allowed, huh? <laughs> Fiction. Name one place where you can't ride a skateboard. <laughs> Since it's just been standing here winking the whole time. <laughs> what about the library? What about it? You need a car if you want to drive in the library. Uh, duh. Everybody knows that. But that implying I, I even go to the library. Uh... Sorry, someone added me. It was wait, like, wait, 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 turn wait, up wait. the voice sounds. It's fine. We're literally Whatever voicing over it. Is. We're literally voicing over it. You don't need to hear the voice bits. But what if you need to go there to do a homework for sensei class assignment? Who here? Oh yeah, okay, that was just savvy, but it only just told me, cool. Uh, obviously I just stuff you in a locker until you do my homework for me, short squid. Short what? Squid. Okay, but what if I did your homework for you, but then I told you to come pick it up at the library? Damn, Cayenne, that's harsh. <laughs> Just don't get too cocky, because this building definitely is gonna blow up in a few minutes. Wait, what? Well, yeah. You can't wink that many times without cool guy consequences. Sensei's gonna fill up the wink meter, which blows up the school. It's basic science. The wink meter? Uh, why have I never heard of this? Well, it's kind of an urban legend, Cayenne, so it makes sense you wouldn't hear about it if you didn't have any friends. <laughs> it's probably just a myth, like Bigfoot or Taco Tuesdays. For, th For the last time, we do not serve tacos here at full price or otherwise. This is a cafe. The place you were thinking of is called a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> I should have realized it was too good to be true. Three tacos for five dollars. Seems Taco Tuesday was a myth after all. Just like my old man always said, fairy tales don't come true in the real life. What? <laughs> yeah, so basically, you probably don't have to worry about it. But it... Can't read it. Might be true. <laughs> after all, it is one of the seven mystery of driving school. This school has seven mysteries? Yeah, heard of them. So Lamps Route is a send-up of the Japanese trope of the seven school mysteries, and you gotta investigate all of them to prove you're not a loser or something. No? Ah, okay, understandable. <laughs> <laughs> Lamp, wait, come back! Hey, okay, Kayan, what's up? Tell me about the school mysteries! Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure you can handle it. Still winking? Just tell me! Are you sure? Yes! Well, okay. Iesic can tell you a little. Mystery number one. Mystery number one. The story go that if you winked too many times at a pretty girl on Halloween night. Which is tonight, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> the classroom. <laughs> yeah, no, that's. Fucking, you fill up the wink gauges, and when the wink gauge gets full... When the wink gauge gets full? Yes, when the wink meter gets filled up to the very tip top of its potential maximum fullness due to maximum winkage, you... Never mind, I probably shouldn't tell you this, Kyan. It's really not a story for kids. It's rated like PG-13 at the very least. No, tell me! What happens when you feel the wink meter? You explode! What? No way! 
There's... There's no way! Sensei can't explode! You're making this up! It's understandable your untwisted mind would want to think that as a defense mechanism. Babies usually can't handle this type of story. I'm not a baby! Oh, yeah? <laughs> then why did I find this placenta <laughs> in your pocket full of nutrients an infant would use? <laughs> Actually, wait, you. <laughs> you, for real? <laughs> <laughs> Kyan, what the fuck? Why was this in your pocket? I don't know, I found it a while ago, probably. You know how sometimes you have a wild night out and crazy stuff happen that you forget about the next morning? More like a wild nine months. <laughs> I'm not a cop, but I'm gonna go ahead and wager you're under arrest. <laughs> it's not like a baby placenta, it's the regular kind. Nah, that's the set that you're thinking of. Totally different. Alright, I don't know what that means, but we're done talking about placentas. I'm glad that, that that's what it took to derail the chat from spamming lamp because they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> anyway, back to my story. Lots of people don't believe in it first. Case 31. Little Timmy didn't forward this email. Still winking! <laughs> that, yeah, nice, real nice sense. Like, he didn't <laughs> want the other kids oh, to make fun of him for believing a scary story. Timmy got his wish. He was the most popular kid at school. With bees! <laughs> Zombie bees! Zombies! Oh no! That was just one person. It was probably a fluke. Oh yeah. Case study two, but a Roman numeral. Amanda only sent this to four people. She woke up to find most of her forks missing. It looks like you escaped this time, Amanda. You know, I have a timeshare over in Michigan. It's, it's right on the <laughs> lake. In 53 minutes, someone someone will if er say I love you or I'm sorry. Ah, oh, wait, hold on. You're just trying to scare me, Lamp. Everyone's on edge after that girl got murdered at the university. It's hard to feel safe anymore knowing that at any moment you could be getting a pizza and then turned into a pile of bones all of a sudden. That girl. Kenzie. You knew her? Nah, I just like to refer to people on the news on a first name basis. Makes me seem relevant, you know? <laughs> anyway, people thought the pizza killer was a rumor too, but look how that turned out. So, this story may just be a hoax. But it also... But it also could also be real. <laughs> a person winking? A pretty girl? Me. All the ingredients are here for make the legend come true. Somebody got to tell Sensei! Guys, I'm almost at world record! Sense! Stop! You'll destroy us all! The only thing that will destroy you guys here is learn! So don't learn too much! Joke! Sensei Wink level up! <laughs> Sensei, no! <laughs> come on, Kaihan. Don't be a loser. That oh god, he's really going now. That whole thing is a load of crapper snappers. <laughs> I see you have already burst into tears. Sorry, by the way. And if you keep making a big scene about it, you're gonna make. Sorry, music got music's a little too loud for me. Me look like the bad guy, and I'm not a bad guy. I'm a cool guy. Don't get your facts twisted. But. Come on, Cayenne, don't be a loser. I get the feeling this is going to be a very important decision. But what should I do? Should I trust my gut stink to try to stop <laughs> Sensei? Or should I believe the school Halloween school meter just a fairy tale myth for babies, like Lamp said? Okay, I'm gonna pick one at randomly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, inner me! I just got done saying this is an important choice. Oh. Oopsie. Ugh, you pressed the expedite shipping button. Now we only have 14 minutes to make a choice. Well, just think about it fastly then. Now, oh, come on, the clock's a ticking. Ugh, 
fine, but if I make the wrong choice, then it's your fault, and I'm billing you with all the expenses. So, what should I do? I don't remember which, I believe it's the listen to lamp is the lamp route. Yeah, this, this choice used to be very confusing. This choice used to be straight up backwards. <laughs> And after me complaining to Plaster, I think four times she changed it. I'm afraid, but what if Lamp's right? If I stop Sensei's winkery and the story turns out to be not true, then I'm just an idiot. Besides, maybe the lesson I've learned to growing up to be adult is that same, some stories need to be loafed behind. I'll let Sensei break the record. I'll miss you, Sensei. I think about our times together, but I've only known you for one day. As Sensei approached the top of the wink meteor, I began to count the winks he had left to wink. Nine. Six. Four. Hold on, I lost count. G guys, I did it! I'm the Guinness Beer of World Record now! <laughs> I hope you're all proud. The class didn't explode, Ro? We lived! Sensei is a hero! <laughs> but you know, the sandwich kind, not the hero kind. This sea, the great day of my life! Thank you all for being here! <laughs> see? <laughs> what I tell you? Sensei is good as new. I guess since you didn't try to stop him, fill up the wink meter, that means you're a cool adult now? Really? Nah. It's a work in progress. You're still more like a teenager right now, to be honest, Lee. So don't get your hopes up too many hope steps. Can I get a hope stare master? What? No. <laughs> <laughs> now that I have finished world record, I have an announcement to the class to make. Today we are have special guest student teacher come to teach the class. I don't know his name, but he is studying to be an English teacher at the local school university. Normally I'd want uh, Savvy to play this because of the name similarity. Let me know if you can't read because his his gimmick is the weird font size changing thing, so. Oh, right, so that might not be. Yeah. <laughs> he is study very good, I have heard, so you are sure to encounter lots of learn under his guidance, eh? Just try not to learn too much while I'm not around. Wait. Student teacher? I don't remember hearing anything about a student teacher. I thought we were done for the day. Not that I would expect to have heard about this, I mean. Because I don't subscribe to any electronic bulletin boards about this class or whatever. <laughs> Mom. I just hope he's a hottie. Me too. We lost the lottery on Sensei, but maybe this time we'll be lucky. I just hope he's a hottie could replace all of Kaihan's dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Please give him a respectable, a respectful welcome to you right here in the classroom. I'm off to cash in my winks at the nearest gas station. Bye! Uh, is that yeah, that's normal him. Size, or? That's normal okay. size. Give, give it a shot, Savvy. We'll see how long you can do this. Him. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken on a stick. Quiet in the peanut gallery. It is time for begin class. I will be your profess instructor. I can't read the last one. Sav. <laughs> First off, there is an announcement. Due to a scheduling conflict, this driver's ed class will be held at 9 a.m. from now on. 9 a.m. <laughs> well, time to drop out. <laughs> Honestly, what schedulation conflict could there possibly be? <laughs> As you know, Dia de los Muertos begins tomorrow. The administration did not want to risk holding back night classes, as this might coincide with the Muertos rising from the grave. Personality, I don't see what's wrong with a little challenge. Anyway, enough chit-chat. Your teacher left me some instruction here. However, 
There is far too many team activities planned for today, in my personal opinion. Just gonna turn Savvy up since this fucking character. <laughs> yes. Yes. Teamwork is teamwork is garbage. Instead, I have fastened his instructions into a little hat. <laughs> 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 now then, let's begin today's Schoolesian, Schoolesian by open your textbooks to page E7. <laughs> textbook? What textbook? I don't know, you're the one who signed up for this dumb class, not me! Lamp, can I borrow your textbook? Um... What do I look like? An <laughs> apple tree under a witch curse that drops books <laughs> Let me try again. <laughs> what do I look uh, like? An apple tree under a witch curse that drops books instead of apples? Oh shit. Uh good news for uh good news for this stream. So uh my editor is actually sick, so we are not gonna be working today, so this can go a little longer. Give me two seconds to write her back. I'll just sit here with my new hat. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I don't want a hat like that unless I were to wear it ironically. I'm not jealous or anything, but I'd love, maybe you should die. I'd love a new hat. This is my only clothing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't have a book, obviously. Only nerds buy textbooks, Kyan. It's a total scam con artist industry, and you're a loser for even suggesting it. Also, what textbook? Is there a problem back there? Yeah, actually, Kyan is just <laughs> saying how much you look like a loser who eat toenail for breakfast. <laughs> you're, probably, you're probably right on dating websites like, oh, I love dogs, so girls think you mean a cool dog when it's actually just a dachshund. <laughs> Lamp! Wait, what's a dachshund? It's one of those dogs who dress up as a hot dog for Halloween. Oh, wow! It's, it's two Dachshunds, and how dare you? <laughs> yeah, blame Kai and teacher guy, not me. As you can see, she's about 60% water, 18% carbon, and 100% vitriol. What? No, I'm not. I'm at least 60% princess, too. She sucks. I hate Kai. <laughs> I'll assume Kai is the female. Let's let's play a fun game. I'll just read all the small text for some. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> Go for it. Here, you know what? So he has three text sizes. So savvy, read all the normal. Siv, read the medium, and I'll read the tiny. <laughs> this will be a disaster. Let's do it. What's the medium? You'll. I'll point Come it out man. next time it shows up. Okay. That's medium. Did you make fun of my dashlands? No, teacher. Lamp's just making stuff up because she doesn't have a te because doesn't have a textbook and jealous because I'm such a perfect student. I still love that. Like, regarding the changes to Lamp's gender, we Plaster's solution was not to change the pronouns. It was just to remove every pronoun. That's so fucking funny. Kyan, what the fuck? Why are you ratting me out? No textbook. I see. This is a problem. Ah, oh, shit. Looks like I'm a fugitive, Nuo. In that case, you may borrow this manuscript of my upcoming novel and pretend to read along with the class. When really you are just reading my amazing work. In my humble opinion. <laughs> Why would I want to read a novel written by some bagel brain like you? You have glasses. Case closed. Warp lamp wins again. But I like my glasses. Yeah, sorry. No, they're bad. No, no, they're bad. That's what it said. <laughs> In that case, I'm afraid to inform you that I have a zero tolerance policy with regards to you. <laughs> <laughs> and will be forced to make an example of you in front of class. No hard feeling, friends, but I must banish you to the dark place. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Lamp rats canceled again. <laughs> next person to insult my man and or glasses would be turned into a second tiny hat. <laughs> now then, adjust glasses. Today's chapter lesson is on road signs. Who can give me an example of a road sign? Jackson's crossing. Oh, what a good example. We gotta get out of here, Inner Me. More like you gotta get out of here because I am not physically entity and social rules do not apply to me. Sometimes you might see a Dachshund near the road. But with such a sign, you will surely remember to don't hit it. <laughs> All right, I've got a plan. Yes? You grab my cell phone and clown me from outside the room, but pretend to be my mom with a family emergency. Then I'll pick up the cell phone and to say I have to leave. Wait, hold on, then I won't have my cell phone. Okay, so you call me on my cell phone and then hand it back to me. Cayenne. Cayenne. <laughs> Gulp! Since you're so eager to have a chat conversation back there, why don't you just tell us what color this hypothetical Dachshund sign would be if you were to see it on the road? Uh, uh, I have to pee! Oh, that was close. Smooth, girl. Totally smooth. Thanks. Sure. What a weird day of class. I mean, Lamp? What are you doing in here? I thought you were banished. Yeah, it turns out the dark place is just the community center bathroom. Which makes sense. Well, I was a boot to have an internal dialogue, so could you please leave the girls' bathroom? Shh, I can't just leave. It's detention. I get an even deeper shit if I just bail. No, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Lamb, aren't you like the class delinquent? Blowing off detention would be totally your thing. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Wow. What do I even do with all this free time? I guess I'm gonna go return this oversized shoe to the shoe store. Lamp, I'm starting to think you have a problem. Maybe take your measures before buying clothes? <laughs> Sorry, but it looks like you're confusing me for a lame person. <laughs> if you want to be one of those, it's too late. Sensei already left the building. I mean... Who even does math for fashion thing like measuring their whatever. own body? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Mom. Anyway, bye. <sighs> so annoying. So, I guess that whole wink meter thing was just a myth, huh? Maybe, but I'm still mad Lamp called me a baby and stuff. Wanting people to not blow up, don't and to make me a baby. It makes me a highly sensitive person. <laughs> <laughs> it's how it sounds. It's what pizza game would have won. <laughs> Read the line, oh. Jello. <laughs> I read it. Oh, did you? I actually didn't hear yeah, it. Yeah, I did. Okay. I'm going to investigate the other school mysteries. And if at least one of them is true, then it will prove that I wasn't being a baby after all. That seems like a solid enough plot thread for this route. <laughs> but what if there are ghosts and bones and spooky Halloween thingies? B bones and ghosts? But I'm scared of those things. Oh, I was kidding. Also, I'm already pretty much a ghost. I guess that's true. We should go home so you can write about this in your diary. But I don't have a diary. I am. Well, home sweet home. That was much more mentally taxation than I expected. There was a minimal amount of sensei today, so I'm satisfied. Oh man, I've only been up like three hours and I already want to go to bed sleep again. Here's Johnny. <laughs> uh, get it? Like the movie? <laughs> <laughs> the movie is the shooting, by the way. Oh. What's wrong, Cayenne? It's Halloween. 
Turn that frown into a smile or else Halloween Santa won't give you your presents. Oh, I didn't forget it. It was even Halloween. Did we even get any trick-or-treaters? Eh, a few. I didn't have any candy, though, so I gave out some of your old magazines and spoonfuls of ice cream. God, what a fucking awkward house. Just on a, on a long spoon, just a thing of ice cream. Oh, boy. I noticed people are leaving, so now's a good time to plug before you leave that you can burp and that you can buy pizza game on Steam right now. This is a purchasable real game, and it goes a lot faster when you're not reading it out loud. Yeah. That's, that's, it's cheap too. Yeah, it's real affordable. Yeah. And, and then I ran out of those, so I gave out one of those, <laughs> I gave out the fine china you had in the cabinet. Remember for when your uncle died? I hope that's okay. It wasn't ideal, but I didn't want to ruin a child's Halloween or something. That would be kind of a bummer. <laughs> Actually, now that I think of it, that was more of a, more than a few trick or treaters, wasn't it? You gave out my magazines? <laughs> Johnny, I collect those! Why, it's not like a spring 2005 edition of 17 is valuable or anything. There are pictures of boy in them! That has infinity values to me and you wouldn't understand it, Johnny! Yeah, I guess I don't. I mean, why look at a picture of boy in a magazine when there is boy right here? I got all the parts of a boy anyone might be interested in. Calvary's <laughs> plan. <laughs> the ghostly suggestion of a mustache. <laughs> Whoops, I wouldn't remember anything else from the health class. That's another one of my favorite jokes. All the parts, uh, really. Please download the Johnny Root DLC for $5.99. Thanks. No one would pay that much money to date you, Johnny. Well, that's ridiculous because it's a great offer. Anyway, hey, want to watch a scary movie for halloween -y? Like what? Like Zombies of the Attack 2. No way! Sequels are scary! <laughs> Fine, then what do you want to watch? Bubble Twist in the Spooky Theater. <laughs> what is that, some kind of baby film for cinephiles age 0 to 2? Who, who are too unappreciative to watch zombie film? No, it's the Bubble Twist Halloween TV movie. No way, TV movies are scary! Then what are we going to watch? Oh, it's your mom. I will answer it. Hello, Mommy. Boo! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Just a Halloween prank, sweetie. Ghosts and goblins to you. Or whatever the Halloween greeting is. Uh, I think it's just Happy Halloween. Oh. That explains why I never got any candy as a child. So what spooky shenanigan did you get up to? Well, I didn't wake up until around 7 p.m., so not many spooky shenanigans. <laughs> Is that a Halloween prank? No. Honey, you're going to lose your job! Already did, thanks! I did go to driver's ed, though. Except we didn't get much done there because Sensei, our teacher, was trying to wink a bunch. What? He wanted to break the world record for most consecutive winks. I don't think that's a real record, honey. Yeah, it probably isn't. I wanted to stop him in case his winking would blow up the school, but the bully I mentioned yesterday stopped me from doing it. Someone besides me is bullying my daughter? Give me their contact information right now! Warp Lamp. Uh... Master of Twisted. Probably lives somewhere stupid that a bully would live. Like an apartment building with only spikes on it. Anyway, Lamp's in my class, so it's a real bummer. I didn't want to seem like a baby in front of the class, so I didn't stop Sensi from winking, but... I don't know, it didn't feel right. And then after we had a student substitute teacher who was really mean and scary, he banished Lamp to the dark place, which turned Ray out to be the, the bathroom. <laughs> then I yelled at Lamp a bit and come home where Johnny was being real annoying about Halloween. What was he doing? Did he Halloween prank you? Yeah, but also he didn't have candy to give out to trick-or-treaters, so he used my old magazines! The cat fancies? No! My old issues of Seventeen! My goodness, that's horrible! Why didn't he just give them Uncle Dylan's fine china? Don't you have all that still sitting around? Oh no, he gave that out too. Well, good! 
Boy, I'm getting pretty worked up here. I need to calm down and watch my late night talk shows with Jimmy Kimmel and all those types. Very important. That is with the Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> with the Jimmy Kimmel. I'm so sorry. I'm going to hang up now. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Mom. Bye, Kyan, Drake, and Josh. What a nice lady. She seemed to be in a gooder mood than usual. Whew, I'm tired. It's time to hit the haystack. But you've only been awake for like four hours. Yeah, four but, fours. Yeah, but come on, I'm tired. Breathe lazy. I'm going to ignore that incredibly rude comment and go to sleepers. Good night, Good night me. Good night. Uh... We're gonna watch a movie, or...? Johnny, go to bed! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the pizza game logo font is called Candy, but I can't find it online, so it's probably a myth. Rise and shine, sunshine! Yeah, shine technically rhymes with shine. It's time to go to school! Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. School start at 9 a.m. now. I guess I'll put on some cloth and start the day. Un puts on a sock. There, I technically changed outfits. What's your definition of outfit? <laughs> we made it to school on time. I wonder what we're going to learn today. Good morning, class. Sensei wheels into view. <laughs> I'm glad Sensei to see- Sensei has wheel. <laughs> he has no legs. I'm glad to see you are all very good and early for our new class morning hour schedule. Oh. Just gonna make sure, am I on the lamp route? Good. <laughs> Today we're going to begin our session with something I know is everybody's favorite, group learning activity. Everyone get with their learn buddies and go to desks to fill out this educationary word search. I will pass they out to every front row of desk now. Learn buddies? What the heck is a learn buddy? I guess you're supposed to be partnered with somebody in the class. But I don't have any partner. They must have picked them before I joined the class. So it looks like we're learn buddies, sure it's not. And before you ask, this is definitely something Sensei assigned me to do and not something I just decided. So don't think I'm happy about it or anything. Uh. Ah, I'm always taking the sacrifice for the team. You might as well call me Master of Thankless Job. Lamp. What? I'm in the middle of a cool guy soliloquy. First of all, you don't even know what that word is. What word? Soliloquy? <laughs> yeah, I do, nerd knuckles. It's in the cool guy dictionary. Right after centipedes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's supposed to be a creator commentary. <laughs> Seconds of all, that is definitely not a real book. Ha! Huh, then how do you explain this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know a little thing or 12 about vanity publishing. No fair! You published that behind your back just now while we weren't looking! <laughs> Sensei never even said we were Learn Buddies, Lamp. And there's no way I'm working with you on something as important as word search unless the teacher make me. Sensei appears out of nowhere! Hello, you are Learn Buddies now! <laughs> <laughs> what?! <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard him, man, Kyan. Looks like we have to be learn buddies now. Uh, cause somebody asked. Yes, the game is out. You can buy it right now on Steam. Uh, we have- I'd link it, but that would, uh, fuck up the stream a little bit, so I won't. Um, actually, you know what? I haven't directly linked it, so I will, because it should be right here. Yep, there it is. Copy. This is important. Paste. There you go. Got yourself a copy Bye, of Pizza Game today. Buy Pizza Game. There it is. I can't wait for that to like. Ooh woo. <laughs> Ooh woo. Here, I'll just consistently like keep copy pasting it. Okay, thank you. Oh, Ty, what was me sacrificing for the team, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I don't believe it. You probably just ventriloquized Sensi to say that. Uh, why would I go through all that trouble to just be learn partners with a loser? You really have to think about these things before you throw out wild accusations at me, Cayenne. 
Anyway, it's not like you have any other options. All the other students are paired off. But there's three other students in the class. You can't make pairs out of three. Maybe not in your geometry. Look, Sensei said we're learn buddies, so that's the final, okay? Fine, but expect a lengthy entry in my diary about how much I hate you. It's a very hurtful thing to say, Kaihan. <laughs> oh, I mean, fine then, it's settled. Okay, I'm glad we we're in agreements. Hey now, what's with all the yelling, guys? Did you learn something really big? Joke. <laughs> Have you just been standing there this whole time? Well, yes, to make sure you are doing good works. I couldn't help but overhear you two were saying words at each other. I got very excited wondering what those words could be. And now I know! See, life is all about learning- Sensei, do I have to be partners with Lamp? What do you mean? Lamp is a bully who is rude and also is suck. Don't listen to Kyan. She's just mad I told her to stop goofing off and making photocopies of her butt on the table. What? Lamp! <gasps> How shocking! Student person, that is very inappropriate. Butts are for private time, not everybody time. Please throw out your butt copies in the trash dumpster. But I didn't! Yeah, I mean, normally making copies of your butt is cool because butts tend to upset authority figures. But when it interferes with schoolwork, it's a no-go. I didn't make photocopies of my butt, Lamp! Wow! That was very smartly said, Douglas. Here's your good job kiss. Smooch. Sensei! Yes, Douglas? <laughs> Quit kissing me, it's cramping my style. Do not be a sourpuss, for everybody needs a good job kiss sometime. <laughs> Seeds. Now it's time for get to work. Chap chop! <laughs> yeah. Sensei leaves. Your name is Douglas? Yeah, but don't call me that. I can't believe you, Lamp. You're the worst. Look, not all of us get to choose our birth names, okay? No, not that. Okay, cool, just making sure. What's the problem then, officer? What's the problem? You literally just made up a lie about me and got me in a whole lot of trouble with Sensei. Yeah, and? And can you maybe quit being such a bully? It's kind of ruining my life. Yeah! I have nothing else to add. <laughs> It's not bullying if it's just a cool prank, Cayenne. Haven't you ever taken a course in prank semantics? It's bully if it's a thing that makes me angry. I politely disagree. Well, I disagree with your disagreeal. Then I guess it looked like we have different opinions. <sighs> Let's just forget it and get start on this worksheet. Attention, class! I have an announcement. Seriously? Guy? <sighs> I just want to say that even though this is my first class that I teach at the community center, you're my best students ever! That's why from now on, I have made a decide. Instead of students, you are all learn flowers. <laughs> Angry lamb! <laughs> In my homeland, a flower is what grow out of Hitta a ground when it's spring and summertime. Yesterday, I saw a flower outside and it reminded me of how learn is like a thing that Gore was out of the ground place. Well, that's so that's why together. we're all lo that's why we're all of us learn flowers together. <laughs> You're in the land. Where were you born, Sensei? Florida. <laughs> Ugh. Aren't you forgetting some of us didn't eat dork flakes for breakfast? I've never even heard of Flowers. Shut up, Douglas. Anyway, to celebrate <laughs> this big mentis occasion, I brought ice cream bar. You brought one ice cream bar? I will leave it on the table for you to eat. <laughs> Dibs. <laughs> I guess that means I'm doing the work shetty by myself. Easy peasy. Let me see that thing. The worksheet was a word search, but all the letters in the word search spell out car. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, that sensei really twist my girdle. Would have been very funny to have like a milk mustache of ice cream on lamp <laughs> yeah. for this scene. You ate the whole ice cream bar that fast? 
<laughs> Worry not, ye Cayenne. It is safely stored in my pants. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, what are you... <laughs> no. Wait, what are you doing? Let me see that. Hey, I was filling out the answers. Give it back. Seriously? You're writing with a pencil? You're even much more of a dork than I thought. Why? What's wrong with pencils? I have a reputation to keep, Gaian. If my name is going on this word paper, then you can't write it in pencil. I only fill out my paperwork with spray cans. What? It's all covered in red now. Well, obviously. We can't get the questions wrong if there aren't any question on the paper. <laughs> Life hack. I hate Just you. Wipe out the questions. I hate you, Lamp. You're so annoying. And don't think I forgot about yesterday. Wait, what? What happened yesterday? I actually don't remember. You didn't let me stop Sensei from filing up the Wink Maker. No. Well, yeah. What about it? Sensei could have died. All because you don't believe the Wink Meter is really exist. That's because it doesn't exist. Obviously. Well, I'm gonna prove you. Wrong! How do you plan on doing that, genie eyes? By proving all the other six school mystery is true. How do you plan on doing that, genie eyes? Okay, first tell me what the other school mystery is. Huh? You really don't know? Uh, yeah, some of us haven't been to Driver's Ed 80 times, BO4. Wow. I'm gonna be the bigger person and ignore your judgy tude there. I guess I can tell you, but only because you really are too big much of a loser to handle things without cool guy Mystery help. Number two. Mystery number two, the school toilet. They say that on the night after Halloween night, which is tonight, by the way. <laughs> we, just, we just jumped forward like 12 hours. <laughs> The school toilet always disappear. Then something explodes, probably. Where does it go? Nobody knows, because it is school mystery. You want me to investigate a toilet? You're the one who wanted to go on this weird loser quest, and now you are the complaining? You just invented a whole new flavor of ice creams. It's called Idiot Flavor. <laughs> and it's a limited time promotional flavor for the 263rd anniversary. And it tastes like you. You're losing your touch, Lamp. Master of Twisted! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I gotta take it with the laundromat. I'll let you handle this schoolwork, sit. Sit is short for situation. But class isn't over? Remember, smell, Silverstein. Handling my homework is a great response nobility. <laughs> my entire personal brand is on the lean here. So don't mess it up. Later. Wait, what? Anji, I can't believe Lamp just left! Grr. Double grr. Triple grr. Quarter pound of burger. <laughs> With cheese? Well, that's enough mess around. I guess I'll turn in this worksheet to the teacher type. Turns in but angry. <laughs> that is, that's in my top three pizza game lines. I use that all the time. Blank but angry. <laughs> Hello, student person. Boy, the class got real spooky all of a sudden. I guess any dream can come true in this crazy weather. Here you go, says me. Wow, wow a letter. Sensi, that's the worksheet. No one's ever given me a letter before. It's not a letter. I've already written my answer reply for when somebody give me my first letter. I will read it to you now. On the front side is a postcard from Yosemite. This is from the Big Sensi family vacation. However, I have crossed out the mountain part and drew an orange. On the back side, it say, Orange, you glad you written me a letter? Then I write back the response to the response to my letter. It says, yes. Then I wrote my address. Good job, Sensei. <laughs> he is a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Next fall, I'm teaching a big letter class at the community center all about letters. Well, doesn't that sound fun? Do you ever think you might be a potted plant trapped in a human body? Well, you see, student, 
all of us is potted plants. Potted learn flowers, to be precise. Well, you can go home now that you're finished with your work. Have a good day to you, and remember to study for the big test tomorrow. Okay, but before I go, I need to ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> What question should we ask, chat? Oh, boy. This one has your favorite word in it, so... Fear B. Yeah. There's like a 40 second delay. That's fine, I'm not in this scene, but like, I can just, I can just mill around and talk for a little bit. You know what's really wild is, uh, his pizza game's real. Oh boy. Sensei, Stream caught up. why is Warflamp so mean to me? Douglas? Why, that because Douglas is the master of Twisted. It's a very important job. Um, pretty shrewd master of Twisted is not a real thing. Me too. But sometimes, when a person loves something very much, they don't know what to say, so they say mean words. I'm still apologize to my oatmeal for last week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for him to say that's a joke. Well, thanks anyway, Sensni. No problemo. Spanish. <laughs> that didn't help at all, Bit. Looks like I'm on my own to investigate this toilet. Oh, you can't just go looking at toilets indiscriminately. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> is this game voice acted or am I reading it uh, itself? The game has incidental voice acting, so occasionally they'll be like, wow, or yeah, like there'll be like a small phrase that'll play, but no, it is uh, not fully voiced for the most part. Though there is, uh, I'm gonna save real quick, show this off, because I didn't before actually. Uh, if you go to the main menu. <laughs> you can quit. Yeah, you can. So uh, there, there is, the menu has voice acting. And uh, once you beat routes, you can unlock different characters who say different things. Aram is probably the funniest. How do you get that ending? My favorite yeah, in is general. Uh, yeah. If you uh, if you go to uh, exit the game, they have little they have little like don't leave us no messages. I th there's like three. I'm just getting unlucky. It's playing the same one. There you go. Yeah, the uh, quick note on that. I for the Aram voice, I the, I the my favorite line of that is some game about pizza, no doubt. I like when you do a new game that also has specific lines, and Aram has one that's just back on the treadmill, chained to a boulder, like a modern day Sisyphus. <laughs> <laughs> you do know the definition of insanity, don't you? You're right, I need to find out more about this toilet before I go investigations. And there's only one person in Floridaddle who knows more about toilet than anybody. Let's go see William-sama! No. <laughs> william Sama, are you home? Oh boy, uh, who wants it? Hey Savvy, can you do a sweaty goblin? <laughs> is that guy in? That is a noise. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> what a surprise! It's William, the town hobo. His eyes are always always closed. <laughs> They're always uh, <laughs> His eyes are always closed. He has a big red nose like a Muppet and he's smiling. Oh, I I must have like some kind of visual thing enabled where if you're blind and playing pizza game. <laughs> what? Oh, the, um... Why is it doing this? <laughs> is it reading it out in text to speech? This is this is new, <laughs> but it's like all wrong. It is a good thing I decided to take the day off. That's a joke, of course, because I am unemployed. William Summer likes to smash stuff made of glass to emphasize his points. That's probably a disorder. <laughs> Still, I did have to cancel my plans to get to the egg center. <laughs> That's why you have to give eggs to the homeless person, me. I'm the only one. <laughs> oh, so lonely. 
<laughs> That's also a joke. I don't feel anything except laugh. But enough of those. What can I do for you, little... You're pretty good at toilets, right? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I am. Do you happen to know anything about toilets at the local community school center center? My friend Lamp says there's a toilet there that disappears sometimes. It is school mystery. Ah, uh, yes, school. How I nostalgia for those days. Me almost just sent me off with nothing but jolly hatches in my pocket. The way you're reading him sounds like someone is like, <laughs> as you talk, someone is hitting the underside and then top side of your tongue with a paintbrush over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> no books? <laughs> she wants me to make friends, not be a book. So did you make a lot of friend? <laughs> no, they took my candy and left me to die. <laughs> so you wanted to learn about toilets of school variety? Yes, please. Well, you know how to say it goes. <laughs> if you want to catch a toilet, you need a toilet biscuit. What? <laughs> Take the biscuit! <laughs> it's a urinal cake. Thanks, William Salmon. You always know what to do. And don't ask any questions. You want to get any help? Not from the police, anyway. <laughs> oh, God. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> he left. That joke is a lot more effective without um, whatever this visual thing that I've somehow enabled is. Um, it might have been on the main menu. Usually those things are on that menu. He left. <laughs> Never mind that. We got a toilet biscuit. Let's eat it. Yeah, toilet biscuit, definitely not edible. Then what the heck am I supposed to do with it, huh? Use it to lure the toilet from the school bathroom place, dummy! Hey! Good idea! Let's go! Hmm... It looks like this is the only bathroom at the school. I walk around looking at the bathroomness. I didn't think you'd actually show up. Cayenne! Lamp's poor... <laughs> <laughs> I'm facing the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. You didn't see anything. Anything 12 bar blue. blue I don't know that word. Bluezer. It's just loser, but like. Bluezer, real quick. All right. I am gonna I am gonna see if I can go to the main menu and uh just check. Just just a quick check to see if. I can change that game settings. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to turn that off. I'll have to. I bet it's in the manual, but I'm not gonna look at that right now because it's long. I know. I know how to turn off the text to speech. Yeah, that's that's not what this is, unfortunately. That's not what this is. Oh, is, this, is it developer commentary? No, that's something else. No. You, you can't even do that until you've beaten the game, anyway. I hope I don't die this time. Yeah, pros and cons. Um, Plaster went through a lot of work putting visual description of things so people who can't see so good can enjoy the game. Cons, we don't know how to turn it off. Yeah, it's like, there's a lot of features. The problem is um, RenPy and Steam don't play well together, so whenever she exports an update, it sometimes changes what features come pre-packaged as on versus off. Uh, huh. And it changes every update, which is in a little infuriating. Uh, and unfortunately, most of the in-depth features for accessibility, which I respect her for trying to do that, this is a weird game to make universally accept. Like, it's so niche anyway. Um, but yeah, that's those should be options on the main menu if they're going to randomly be on. What are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. Stop! Sorry, Lamp. You're just fun to mess with. 
fun to mess with. Yeah, you're like an annoying little sibling, whom I feel no romantic feelings for. Only disdain. <laughs> okay, first of all, how dare you? Get it I am way too cool to be related to you, loser. Second of all, I don't have a second point. At Jello, what is with the g grammar and spelling, though? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, did you ever figure out that toilet mystery or whatever? I mean, I probably just made that up. I only came here to make sure you didn't actually show up to look around at toilets. But it looks like you show up anyway. Almost like my magnetic resonance made you come here? Or you didn't do a very good job at your job. Yeah? Well, my backup plan was to show up to make sure if you showed up, I could make fun of you. <laughs> Looks like it, uh, season two of the award-winning primetime television show based on the real story of your loserness. Yeah, all right, got him. <laughs> Whatever, Lamp. I've got a toilet biscuit. Oh, what? I show Lamp the toilet biscuit. Where'd you even get that? William Sama gave it to me to use as a secret weapon. He said toilet biscuits are what saying is to help attract toilets. Or something. Wasn't really paying attention, was mostly just kind of thinking of how he looks like a Muppet. Cayenne, a toilet biscuit's not a real thing. Put that back in the garbage where it came no from. Way. No way! You're just trying to sabotage me. I'm trying to tell you that's a urinal cake. And like... I don't know who this William guy is, but like, I would stay away from him from now on. What? Why? Are you jealous of our friendship? Nah, it's more like... All right, listen up. I'm gonna dish out some serious life advice right now. Okay, here it is. Don't carry urinal cakes around. Cool guy advice. Cool over. guy advice, over. Did I solve the mystery? Yeah. Wow, congrats. You found a toilet. <laughs> Let me just put on my dungarees that say Limp is jealous on them to show how envious I am of your amazing skill. Psych! They don't say that. No, is, I mean... Is Lamp a JoJo reference? No. Psych! I don't own dungarees. No, Lamp is a Smash Tasm reference. <laughs> Wow, I didn't know you guys like to hang out in the bathroom place, too. Hey, guys! Here for extra learn! Yeah, law sensei. <laughs> I'm doing cool teenager things you wouldn't understand. And Cayenne is also here, but hey, what can, I, what can you do, am I right? <sighs> I don't know what I did to wind up in a purgatory where every loser for a block radius is practically attached to me. Lamp! You told me to come here. <laughs> like bees to a honey that say master of twisted on it. <laughs> Only the honey is hot sauce, the cool guy preferred drink. Okay. What? Did you eat lunch yet? Nah, I usually can't afford food. Yeah, I didn't either. I was too busy budgeting for my upcoming documentary about skeletons. It's called Skeletons. <laughs> I'm a star skeleton. Can I be in it? I'm also all the background skeleton. In the background in general, and the camera, and the VHS it's coming out on? Yeah, I'm pretty multi-talented, thanks for asking. More important though, you should probably treat me to lunch. <laughs> you ever hear of a place called Hot Sauce Pile? <laughs> it's the cool guy bar where cool guys, uh, example, more blam, go. Uh, but I guess probably if you are only there for a little bit, so it won't on fire explode or anything. And But if it does, I have cool guy insurance. Are you asking me out? What? Are you asking me out? Douglas, I am flattered you have a feelings for me, but alas, the only true love passion I have is learn. First of all, Lamp, hot sauce isn't a food. Second of all... I don't have a second point! Hey, here's the thing I said earlier. You're under arrest! Unless... You said it because you thought it sounded cool. Maybe. <laughs> well, you're under <laughs> arrest again! I mean, 
normal most times I would be cited against the law because I'm cool law breakage, dude. But intellectual property law, I get pretty passionate about. Ironically, though. Gaius! Sensei have a big idea! What if we all go on a, ga a date together? Instead of boyfriend and girlfriend, we will be learn flowers. <laughs> no offense, say, but if I was a robot, I would definitely strangle you. <laughs> Learn flower date! <laughs> well, howdy, stranger. Well, aren't you three just peas in a feather? We are lovers! <laughs> what? Hi, Chris. What can I get, you all? In the South, that would shorten to y'all America fact. I will have a steak! I guess. <laughs> Sorry, fuck you, Savvy. You don't get to play. Okay, Savvy. Yeah, yeah. No, on, no. Honestly, I was thinking of bouncing anyway. In the moment, right. I've got to go eat. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like after this scene, or maybe one more after it, I'm gonna call it anyway, because that's oh, cool. that's I'll how long you read out it. pizza game. Um, <laughs> do you have oats on your menu? No. No way. I'm gonna starve. Try asking again. What are you, a horse? Maybe I would have more satisfied a diet if there was more up here to eat besides oats, yarn, and pennies. Oh, I get it. It's like the old saying, a yarn for your thoughts. More like you're just... Your, your thoughts just suck. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chris, do you have oats? No. <laughs> <laughs> How can you have a steak but not oats? Ask again. Do you, do you have oats? <laughs> Brother, I require the oats. <laughs> yeah, give me an order of get out of here with a side of punch sensei in the face and make it a double. Okay. Okay, I will go make those. <laughs> Lamp. Aren't you going to turn around and look at your learn flower dates? Listen, Teach Guy, the master of Twisted only faces one direction, and it's this one. Maybe there's something really interesting on the walls. Maybe. Wow! What is it? Nothing! <laughs> now it's time for breaking the ice. <clears throat> Happy birthday! Sensei, that not an icebreaker. Not even if it's your birthday? Okay, maybe if it is be your birthday. <laughs> I wish I knew how to gun. <laughs> Listen, headaches one and two, I better be getting some hot sauce at the end of this, or else there will be cool guy consequence. Such as murder. <laughs> or inst institutionalized <laughs> racism. <laughs> Those are just some examples, though. Now, Doug, Doug, those are mean words for the newspaper. Say, uh, when you're with your learn flower dates, you need to think a positive. For example, why don't we share some of our favorite things? I will tell you my favorite things now. Okay, good idea, Sensei. I'll share some of mine, too. Pineapple. Boys. Oatmeal. Boy vans. Two oatmeal. I ran out of favorite things. Tomout juice. Stop saying nouns. Oh no. What? This isn't a list of sensei's favorite thing. This is a recipe for bomb. <laughs> and now we are all going to die. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's off the fucking screen. Oh no. I never got to meet my favorite boy brand secret flower. Well, Sensei, you messed up even more bigger than usual. It looks like everything's ruined. Unless we can solve... Mystery number, Mystery three. number three. School bomb. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bomb in the school, but nobody knows where it's hiding. And the only clue we have is Sensei's shopping list. Cayenne, you have to solve the puzzle. A uh, fellow innocent viewer has not seen any of my videos and needs to know if this is safe for Christian Minecraft server. Not really, honestly. <laughs> I would Ryan talks about sex pretty frequently. I mean, like, it's infrequent, but there is the casual fuck word, so... Mm -hmm. Why me? 
Cool guys don't have puzzle skills because our brains are taken up by skateboards. It's our dump stat. And sensei is sensei. <laughs> Quick, you have to determine what the have in common thing is on all these items. But... <laughs> so sensei made a bomb by stating the objects on the list, which were oatmeal, pineapple, and oatmeal again. And tomato juice. <laughs> That's what does it. Tomalp juice. <laughs> Waiting for chat. <laughs> Pizza game is a game. Did I write the dialogue? No, this is written and coded by my sister. I drew all the art assets, though. I know. All of the hard work was done by Plaster Brain. <laughs> Dangan Rumper has gotten weird. <laughs> <laughs> give it pineapple breakfast. Va it's pretty even split for once. I'm Pine seeing, I'm seeing, apple. I'm seeing pineapple the most. So, <laughs> wait, I've got it. One of them is pineapple. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, sorry, but even if you. <laughs> Sorry, but even if you did follow directions and come up with a common thing between all the items, I can probably think of at least two things on that list that aren't pineapple. <laughs> the first is the pineapple. That much is obvious. No self-respecting pineapple would appear on Sensei's list. Probably just an avocado in disguise. It's true. <laughs> what about the second, Thigan? I mean, I said probably. Like, I bet I could come up with another one if I had to do it for a job interview or something. Anyway, your romp, so the bomb exploded. Oh no! Did we die? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we got a game over there. Oh man. God, pizza games are fucking mess. <laughs> One of them is pineapple. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> Google Plus is humor. It's just so I fucking... believe the next one I saw the most is breakfast. They area all breakfast food? Oatmeal and oatmeal are eaten for breakfast. Pineapple is eaten for island people breakfast. And tomato juice is eaten for tomato juice breakfast. Wow! What a smart! You guys have almost as much learn as I do! Well, Cayenne, I guess the bombed ones went deactivated. You win this round, dorks, Starks. <laughs> but next time... <laughs> <laughs> The bomb might go off for real. Oh man, when you guys look in the pizza game manual how to turn off the visual descriptor because it really just takes the oomph out of like every visual gag. All right, I'll, I'll see if I can do it. Where's the manual? Uh, it's on the pizza game website, which is pizza.party. I don't, I don't know. Uh, if you if you look on the Steam page, it should be there somewhere. Don't worry. I'm a class act. I'll handle the check. <laughs> Servant! Yes, yes, I'm almost done with your foods. Just wait a little bit longer. Chris, a bomb went off in the restaurant. Are you okay? I mean, Savvy, while you're here, do you want to be him? While Siv is looking. Uh, yeah, sure. <clears throat> How exciting! Listen, wait, guy. We'll take the check now. But you haven't... Oh wow, the screen just gave up. All right. Sure did. <laughs> but you Sorry. haven't you haven't fooded yet. Yeah, I'll be paying for it in. Cool. <laughs> wow, awkward. Usually there's a guitar play when I do that. Get out of my restaurant. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. I was leaving anyway. <laughs> there you go oh not paying the check don't worry student i will be the gentleman please pay the check what <laughs> i don't know uh, uh how is that being a gentleman yeah how is that being a gentleman you see i said please at the beginning, which makes it the polite words. Fancy. 
But Sensei, I don't it have any money. Oh no, me neither. I never learned how to financial. Whoa! Maybe, if, maybe if he didn't have money, he shouldn't have gone out to eat and then ordered a steak. Mm, oh no, looks like we have a real tragedy on our hands. Well, don't worry, Cayenne and large friend. If you're a first-time customer, the price of not paying for your meal foods is death. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> they didn't teach me about this in the army! Wait, Chris, hear me out. We're friends. You know me, right? I came here one other time. You know me, I'm a good person who always do the right thing. Oh yeah, I guess you are a returning customer. Oh wait, you didn't pay for your foods last time either. Darn it! Well, see you in court. Right now! <laughs> what are we gonna do? Well, just look on the <laughs> side. What's the bright side, Sensi? Your old Sensi is already wearing his Sunday best clothes. Once they see I'm all razzle-dazzles, they'll be sure to let us off the hook. <laughs> Ordering. Oh, I guess uh, you, were, you were him earlier, Lamp. Mr. Yeah, Aramnaze! Oh, it's you, printer boy. I love how she still has that nickname, even though we didn't have that scene. Yeah. <laughs> I, sh I should have known that was what you were doing, not at, at not work today. I like that no matter what route you're on, Aram always calls you printer boy, and Sensei calls you student person. <laughs> he Sensei never learns your name. <laughs> Getting under arrested. Mr. Aram Nassi, hear me out here. I'm in a real pickle and I need you to tell Chris that I'm a good person or give me money so I can pay for the meal foods. Bribery, eh? Hmm. I'm Mr. Judge and there will be no foul play in my court. I'm. I'm Mr. Judge. Die. Order in the court. That is, in order of pizza in 15 to 20 minutes. Ah, oh, okay. Let's try to wrap this up before then, people. Think maybe control V? No, that's uh that's voice to text. Um should be like descript like visual description or visual descriptions if you control find that. On Red Team, we have this innocent restaurant owner and bystander, Chris. And his lawyer, me. What? <laughs> On Blue Team, there is heinous criminal printer boy. And substitute right-wing defense sensei. Hot, hot hike. But who the jury? Hmm, that would be... <laughs> this young man I found <laughs> found up to no good outside Microsoft at office dumpster. Johnny! What? Oh, sorry. Guilty! Execute them! Johnny! Yes, good job. Okay, lesser citizen. Let us get started. <laughs> Printer boy, where were you at murder o'clock? This will also give me time to look it up. Uh, I think it might be L. It says C keyboard settings for more information. Um... All right, well, I clicked it. We'll see if it does anything. I'm excited to see what chat thinks. Turn off voice chat. It might be that a glitch is keeping the text around, so try turning it on and off again. That's honestly a fair file select. Let's uh, let's try that. While well, you guys, objecto is what most people are saying, so I'll do that in just a second. Go to title screen. Yes, extras. Uh, let's try. Oh wait, that's that's on the main menu, isn't it? They're different menus for some reason. You know, game design. You know. Also a thing I brought up to Plaster that did not get addressed. Okay. Enables, um, where is it? No, I guess, I don't know where that is. Maybe it is the main menu. Oh well, we'll find out if L did enough of it. Objecto! Objection! Overruled. Darn! 
<laughs> well, that brings this court session to a close. I will have my verdict in two seconds. Guilty. Oh no! Oh no! Hold it yes. right there. Gasp. Whose is that? What? Where are you coming from? Yeah, Sensei, maybe the substitute right wing of offensive offense man, but you can't play ball without an umpire. Wait, hold on, there's too many people on screen. I didn't plan this out well. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Nope, still there. Let's just try hitting random keys. Self-voicing there, disabled. There we go. It's it's marked to C right now for some reason. Bizarre. Right, well, I fixed it. <laughs> and as it turns out, this cool guy knows a thing or two about baseball. Or something. That analogy kind of ran away from me, huh? Lamp! Don't get me wrong, Cayenne. Normally, I would be against the law, but I got a degree at lawyer. Two, I could in indict losers back to grade school. Yeah, that makes sense. Court of justice is the only legally sanctioned form of bullying. <laughs> Lamp, you don't even know what that word means. What word? Sanctioned? No, lawyer. Um, uh... Yeah, I do, 20 pound dumbbell. Now stop interrupt me. Step one. Oh, shit. Accuse them of being suck at kickball. Then, court did arrive. I'm ready in the stand. Step two. Present the evidence. One, kickball. Two, war plant, master of twisted. Three, just do these first two things again if the judge doesn't believe you and convict the other party immediate guilty. Then he's not a bro. I lived in the poorest parts of to Tokyo High. Tokyo yeah. High, yeah. Tokyo High. So no one could ever afford a cooler lawyer than me. Talk about free lawyer EXP. Yeah, <laughs> they don't call me Master of Twisted for nothing. And then... And the reason is not because of my mid-semester project into metalsmith class. Stop asking me about that, Devin. Shaped like a tornado. Hint, tornado is twisted in shape and a cool guy thing. The real reason is because I'm twisted at life. Hm, that makes two of us. You really think you can stop me? It looked like I have no choice. You're not even facing the right direction. Yeah, but if I turned around, I just might. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if my cool guy intellect serves me correctly, you said the following. Duh. <laughs> what are you, some sort of tape recorder? Yes, I did, what of it? Will then, loser dude, I don't know, if that even is your real name. It looked like you just admit your own guilt. I happen to know, thanks to Cool Guy Legal History Book, published by Warp Lamp, 2001, that THE was a statement. Also said by a criminal guy. But I am the judge. Cool. I'd like to call a witness to the stand. Okay. A cool witness. Me? <laughs> no. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Warp Lamp, Master of Twisted, might I just point out that you're looking rather twisted today? Why, thank you. Are those pants cashmere? They could be, if I knew what that is. But I don't. Because I'm... Warped Lamp, Warped Master, Lamp of Master of Twisted! <laughs> Tell the jury where you was when the crime was commit happen. I was in the restaurant. Incidentally, that was where the crime was. I guess that makes me a pretty cool witness guy. I agree, but the real question is... Do you, Cayenne, think is innocent of crime happens? Yeah. Psh, talk about free witness EXP. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for your support, Warp Lamp 2. You'll always be number one in my heart. Yeah, anytime. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, Judge. GG, easy peasy. I have an objection. No, no, he has a point. 
They judges will deliberate to a conclusion now. I like the way I drew the judge thing with the gavel makes it look like in front of Aram is the world's tiniest judge gavel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kids. I'll let you off with a warning, but don't let me see you again. Preferably ever. Hmm? Liam, you won the big case! You did it! It was because we all worked together <laughs> as a team! Hop, hop, hike! Nah, I'm pretty sure it was only because of me. <laughs> well, I was there for support. Really, it doesn't matter who won the case, because anyway, I've got to get home so I can make work tomorrow. It's already several hours into the PM. I should have figured you were the type to go to bed at baby times. Cool guys never go to bed. We catch up on sleep during daytimes by pretending our eyes are open when they're actually sleeping. Like... That. <laughs> Z. 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 Psych! Like I would let you observe my sleeping habits so easily. I have to keep up my cool guy guard up. Anyway, Cayenne, you owe me for saving your dork butt today in court. You know, for rendering my services for free and all that. But Lamp! I would ask for an ironic kiss or something, but the practical side of me says to go for money. Money, money, in, ex ex money in exchange for free services? Oh yeah, that does sound pretty dumb, doesn't it? Meanwhile, Sensei freezes into an icicle. <laughs> <laughs> then again, I never claimed I was a smart guy. Hey, I'm Shorty. Lamp, the whole point of this trial was that we don't have any money for which to afford goods and services. Look, pal, I might be cool guy okay with not paying for the meal dinner, but that still leaves the tip. But what if we just don't pay the tip? Not so fast, Cayenne. Did I just say you weren't don't going to pay the tip? <laughs> oh! Remember, kids, even though weight guys and the food they serve might be total losers, it's important to pay them a tip after a meal. You see, big evil corporate dork guys don't pay the little waiter guys enough regular salaries. But I'm a small business and my own boss! Without help from the customers just like you at home, they can't get money to buy things like... Skateboard. Magazine. Uh, skateboard. Even cool guys like me take a moment every day to tip at a restaurant. Didn't go to a restaurant? Even if you just see a restaurant, leave a tip. Wow, cool, Lamp. How do I start? That's a good question, Cayenne. You see, it's as simple as multiplying your total bill dollars by 10, 15, <laughs> or 20. <laughs> Wait, that's a lot, though! Golly, I never realized leaving in a tip was so easy! Well, now, you know. All together, every guy. Don't be a step, leave a tip. <laughs> <laughs> Looks at the camera. Of course, you can always leave a tip in other ways, such as favors. For example, get out of my restaurant. Well, you heard the man. It's time to later, skater. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> I'm home. Hey, Cayenne. How was work? School was good. I learned about toilet. And then I went to a restaurant and learned about leaving a tip. School? Don't you already have you, your graduated degree yet? Only in being pretty girl. Pay the rent, Cayenne. Cayenne. If you don't do a job, how... <laughs> if you don't... Hold on. If you don't do a job work, how will we get the monies for rent? Ugh, come on. Don't be such a nag person, John the roommate, and not John Legend, that African-American stallion. <laughs> Do you have a crush on literally every boy? Every boy except you, Johnny. Okay, time for a bed. Here we go. I am going to bed so hard that it will be Unreal Engine. Wow! Oh, oh, she's going for it! She's asleep, ladies and gentlemen. Stop screaming, though. I can't sleep. <laughs> oh, sorry. Good night. Narrating sleeping like a sport game. <laughs> We didn't call her mom. She's she dead. Didn't call her mom. Uh, <laughs> that that 
that to me feels like yeah. as a good as stopping point as any. That is a, that is a yeah. solid pizza promo. Yeah. yeah. That was uh, about half of the lamp route. If you guys want to play pizza game yourself, you can do it at the link that I'm about to post in the chat probably two minutes ago, synced up with this thing. Buy, Buy it on Steam. Buy pizza game on Steam. You want to see the Chris route? The Chris route is my favorite because it has RPG boss battles in it. <laughs> no joke. Straight up, it just turns into an RPG. It's pretty fun. Um, so yeah, that's that's how the game works. You click and dialogue happens. Certain routes, like every route has like a slightly different interactive gimmick. Uh, Mr. Arams are all about like, there's like a make your own pizza mini game and then a spin the bottle mini game. Um, Rubitz is an investigation game. Sensei's has a stealth segment for some reason. Um, uh, where you are sneaking inside Aram's house behind a piano. And the only difficulty of the stealth segment is you have to not click the buttons that say scream. <laughs> <laughs> and listen to him playing piano terribly. Highly recommended. You can get Pizza Game right now for just $9.99 on Steam, itch.io, or Game Jolt. Or you could play the demo, which we did just demo a bit of it for you, but um, you can also uh, let me go to the main menu to show this. Yes. Uh, there's a scene select. Yeah, see, we only we didn't even do the keen part of the demo. Uh, the, the demo is the first day, which we showed you all of, and then the second day, which... Um, we showed you just the Lamp Sensei. So you've seen like a, a little over a third of the demo. So if you want to try more of it out, then you can do that for free. And uh, I believe demo save data caves, uh, like, saves over if you buy the main game off of it. It should work. It should work. Hashtag pizza game. Yeah. And then you can do this. Cayenne solves a toilet mystery. <laughs> Oh yeah, and you can uh, start with low or high points based on affinity. Oh, this That's neat. Oh yeah, this this one turns into a ghost investigation. I forgot, and then a, <laughs> and then a basketball game. So yeah, thanks for watching. Pizza uh, game. Bye, pizza game. I don't know how to turn a stream off. Oh, there it is. Bye. <laughs>